world's finest reporting. G'day everybody, how are you all doing? Welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? <laughs> Babalu coming in with a four month tier one resub. Thank you so much, brother. Really appreciate that. Let me just adjust the camera here for a second. There we go, that's a bit better. How are you all doing? Welcome in to another Dungeon and Gumdrop stream. Howdy, Dragoon. How you doing? Oh, Scotty doesn't know, so don't tell Scotty. Scotty doesn't know. Oh, my gosh. That's... That's, uh... Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I mean... You, you, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> but welcome in, team. How you all doing? Great to see you guys once again. Hope you're all well. Ah, uh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Whilst, yes, I didn't stop playing Dungeons & Dragons with the team whilst we were off. Honestly, if you don't have that as a sound bite, I'm on something. <laughs> All right. Let me... You know what, Dragoon? I got a list of stuff I'm doing this week during my week off. I added it on the list to do it. Happy? <laughs> nah, it's absolutely awesome to have you guys hanging out with us today. It's going to be great fun. We have got session 16 of Dungeons and Gumdrops. There is something in the water. Now, to bring you guys up to speed, I know Babaloo's been watching i know dragoon you've watched the last couple of sessions via sugar Stocks' stream i believe as well so you kind of know what's what's been going down so it's it's i'm glad to see um glad to, uh to be able to catch you again especially since i only catch you on fridays yeah yeah which is which is gonna change going forward uh because daylight savings is happening next weekend over here and then you guys lose daylight savings as well over there desi Warrior, how you doing welcome in been too long it has i took a couple of weeks off my man so do not stress at all i saw your comment don't use twitch as much as i used to regardless of everyone's best to support you and the amazing content you make thank you so much my friend hope you're doing well hey game on steve how you doing welcome in welcome in so to bring you up to speed i'll do a full run through of last week's session at the start as we always do, as I am the uh, title master and recap person for the group. Um, no, so my time zone will change. Everyone else's won't because I'm the Australian. So I'll have to work with everybody else. So what it'll mean is the time for you will be fine. Time for me will change. So I might start earlier... You're Australian? <laughs> Very funny game on Steve. Um, so what is going to happen is I'm actually going to... So d d after next weekend for I think it's like a couple of weeks, we'll start at 11 a.m. And then after you guys lose daylight savings over in Canada and the States, it'll actually end up being 12 midday for me. So I'm actually going to figure out next week how I want to do this. Do I just start at 12 and just do D&D? &D, or do I do a two-hour 
hobby sash, two and a half hour hobby sash beforehand. Then we transition to D&D. I'm going to figure that out. Um, we'll see what that looks like. Uh, but that's something I'll ask the community as well, what you guys would like to see in the Discord. Speaking of which, if you're not in the Discord... There's the link. Jump in there. You'll be able to catch my going lives. If you are not, also engage with the broader community. We've got over 70 members in there now, which is absolutely awesome. It's the best place to interact with the wider community. I'm just going to keep tabs on our Discord call with the Dungeons and Gumdrops team. We are currently waiting on Bird, who is not rocked up as of yet. But everybody else is there, which is always good. But I want to catch up with you guys for a bit. Want to catch up with you guys for a bit. How are you all doing? Why the community? Hey, I resem <laughs> resemble that con. You, you mean resemble or resent? Game on, Steve. <laughs> I'm more saying like everyone's not going to be here in chat every stream. So you can interact with other people in the Discord is more what I'm getting at. But I'm also fully aware that you're having resemble. Ah, I resemble that. Okay, fair. Very fair. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Jesse, I've been quite busy on Instagram. Uh, I've been shouting out people every once in a while. I have been gaining followers. And one of my followers is Sergeant America. Nice, bro. That's awesome. Love to hear it. Sergeant America, he's, he's, a, good, he's a good egg. He is a good egg. He, he actually just applied for the Pipeline's um, scholarship program with Corsair uh, this time around. Um, he, he's absolutely slaying it. And he's only been doing content for five months. Ah, Bird is now here, um, as well. So let's, we're going to jump over to everybody else. I'm going to unmute Discord. Make sure that's unmuted in OBS. So we're all good. Yep. And we're ready to go. But I got a new Olympic barbell and lots of weights. So I've gotten back into lifting. Nice game on Steve. I've been looking at potentially buying some weights as well. Because I need to keep up the gains without the jib. So, you know, and I, I miss lifting weights. I, I genuinely miss lifting weights. Something fierce. Um, so, we're going to jump over into Discord with everybody else. <laughs> I, uh, no, no, no. I don't like this bird. Well, it's a it's a, it's a hate-hate relationship. We I, do not like I each other. All of the evidence points towards you don't like birds. Bird not like no. birds. <laughs> talking I, about you have no I, I grew up with Macaws, so she's just a bitch. Yes. She's just 100% bitch. I need a picture. Um, you you came in one. here guns blazing. You yeah. all right? No, right? <laughs> no holds barred. Just let's go. I've been trying to pay people to take her because I do not want to live with her for the rest of my life. So, uh, uh, Bird's chosen uh, violence today, okay? I, yeah. We're, we're going to talk. We're going to talk, Bird. It's like, I'm I hate in... birds. I'm okay, so if you're getting a... times a day, do you get cussed out by the bird? Uh, a few. And usually <laughs> it growls. She does like to growl at me a lot. Um, bird yeah, growling. That's awesome. bird yeah. So this is a really weird me. conversation we've come into, <laughs> chat. Really Jeez. weird conversation. Something special, I'll say that much. Let me... I'm, I'm right on the New York State border. I can be in New York I in five know. minutes. Oh God, let me see if I can find a picture of her anyway. My oh, and you know what the great thing is? If you can get her to fly, then does her. that really count as, you know, bringing something over the border oh. if it flew across the border? <laughs> I mean, she can fly. She can definitely fly. I don't know where she would fly to, but she can do the thing. <laughs> she can definitely um, fly. Oh yeah. Oh, hi, Sugar. How's, hi. how's everyone oh, doing? Our likes her. We're doing good, Shadi. Alive. That's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's patiently waiting over here, Sugar. Oh, <laughs> yeah, everyone's waiting on you, Sugar. Should we review the conversation we just had a little bit ago? Nope. Uh, I was deafened, so... My body. <laughs> ah. Uh, not whilst I'm live, please. <laughs> my, uh... My okay, hands were tied. Okay, I had, I had a situation to deal the, with. I put the bee in general chat for you. Oh, she's a red one, too! <laughs> She's He's beautiful. She's a sassy son oh, of a oh, that is uh, so actually, cute. Miss um, Bonnie had made an emote because that picture I sent her and she goes, oh, she's saying, fuck you. <laughs> <There> <laughs> is, yep. So Bonnie made me an emote out of it. Oh so yeah. 
Ah, uh, yes. She's an ass. Hole. I'll, say that I'll much, take it. We've had her for. Uh, my daughter was two, so 13 years, and we don't know how old she was when we got her. She was a rescue. Gorgeous. The dude was completely oblivious on anything. Uh, and when we went to go pick her up, he was like, she loves, uh, she loves men, hates women. She would not go near my husband at all. <laughs> And she was no all over me. And then they, we finally got the role to switch. And now she just growls at me when I go near her cage. We oh, argue no. over the seeds in her cage. <laughs> like, That's amazing. Hey, I used to work at a parent rescue. If, if I'm in another room, she will talk and banter with me. But if she looks at me and I start talking to her, dead silent. So oh, she's, no. just, she's just <laughs> in her teenage years forever, I think. Love it. Um, Love it. Sass. <laughs> Yeah. It's a fight, yeah. a, a territory uh, fight between the two only thing, yes, <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I, I will nice. say I absolutely love is my husband has her very well trained to whistle the tune of Robin Hood. Um, and she does sing on her own. And I don't know, it must be prior to us, the Mario theme song. She'll go through the whole thing. <laughs> And you just like randomly hear her singing to herself, and I'll like join in. But as soon as she sees me, that's it. It's the end of it. She Sorry. does like my daughter, though. She will like cuddle up to her. She's the only one that she'll get like super cuddly with. She's got something weird with her beak that the side of it doesn't, um, it's not like shaped right. So it grows super long very fast to the point where okay. once every like two or three months, we have to like hold her down and saw off her beak. Well, no wonder um, guy doesn't like you guys. <laughs> I, I try to be the bad guy so that, you know, she still treats the other people like good guys, but yep. it is a thing. And, Somebody's um, got to take the fall. Yep. So, I, I, you know. My, oh, never mind. It's fixed itself. Never mind. It's fixed itself. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to have to leave the call real quick to fix my <laughs> stream overlay. And is they were like, haha, you're stupid, and then started working. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Now, now's her chance. She's muted. What are we doing this week? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, man. Uh, it turned out so much oh. better than I expected, though. That, that would, oh, it was so yeah, good. That was great. I have to open everything up now. Yes. This is going to take me a minute. Cause... Uh, heard I added oh. random items to my character just because. Fair. <laughs> I needed, also, I needed some way to breathe underwater so that uh, I don't lose my new shiny sword that I got. <laughs> uh, I have 30 new potions of water breathing. I'm going to oh, hand yeah. those out. They just I magically have, appeared I have, in my I have, inventory. I have, magical, I have a magical changeling ability. It's a racial trait called pull potions out my ass. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Well, I like it. That's, that's I, one way to go. I, I, I found it on his boat as I was oh. tackling uh -oh. his boat. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, oh there we go. We're Messed back. up everybody's overlays. We're back. Yep. God um, <laughs> ruined it. Hopefully my internet stays because earlier today my power was going out a bunch of times. But I think Oh no. Think I'm Damn it, Smithy. What did I do? You passed it on to everybody. <laughs> 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 I made a thing. I don't usually have issues, and I think that either there was an accident that knocked out the power grid, and it was just messing with things for like an hour, or they were just messing with us in general. It's not his fault. It wasn't my fault. What did me? I didn't do it. Uh, not live. If you want, I bet you, you guys haven't missed these shenanigans in chat. In this is this is what we live for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, definitely. One thousand percent. I'm gonna send you all my notes. Uh, give me complete and total them. control of the I'm entire scared. campaign. <laughs> yep. I will make sure nothing bad happens. Absolutely. And you're gone. Absolutely. On, on my way. Yeah. The first on my way to do that. Throw me under the bus. <laughs> to cast the ball at 12th level SDM. Googling that. <laughs> Honestly, um, this is going to be a fun, fun little episode. Oh, uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm super oh. excited about it. Uh, I'm losing um, my sword. Anybody who hasn't, just gonna say this, made their level 19 character has the next seven days to do so because we start mm. next Friday. Actually, no, we oh, got we got 14 we days because yeah, I'm gonna be around here next Friday. We're we're missing 
Three of us. Three evil. And Iron Smithy. Okay, so then we're starting on the seventh. Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I s- eighth. Okay. Speaking of that's, which, I think in my good. magic items. Mm-hmm. For I saw the magic review. items haven't looked yet. Yeah. Yeah, um, I bet you do that to my messages all the time. Just oh, I see it. No, I ain't reading. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Honestly, that message came through while I was elbow deep in vinyls, so I oh. had to ignore it. Oh. It's still sitting there though. She says every time I send her. I'm serious. I'm gonna start yeah, sending all you the my time. pictures so you can believe. I'm just me. busy. I'm not I'm ignoring just, you. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks go by. You know. Uh, no, okay. Look, I have like short-term memory loss or something. Because as soon as I see a message, if I don't answer it, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone, 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 gone. Yeah. It's bad when Smithy's more responsive than you are. So I mean, so I, you know uh, what? I will say people. I've never had a problem talking to Smithy. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Myself to do it every <laughs> <time>. <laughs> I don't uh, think I've ever said that again. Every time I've messaged Smithy, it's been like within an hour that he's messaged me back, which is pretty solid, considering right? I usually message him in the middle of stream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know you're busy, but, but this, you know, uh, I just saw your face and I remembered I needed to say this thing to you. I felt like I was so <laughs> funny because he messaged me about something one time. And it was like, oh my goodness, what is going on here? Yeah, I am famous now. That's it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you guys. Uh, I feel it. Oh. I, I had a, stream. I had a big time streamer in my DMs, you know? It's just, oh yeah. my lord, yeah, shut it. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I, so far I from it. the biggest streamer I know, so. Oh my. Well, yeah, that is not, that is not untrue. Um, I, whenever I, I like had been watching your streams for like two months, I remember like we messaged about something I told my friends about you beforehand. I was like, guys, Iron Smith, they just DM me on Discord. I'm about to lose my <laughs> shit. Oh my god, <laughs> guys. And now I'm like, hey man, I'm gonna say some I'm gonna say some weird like shit. Shit to Smithy. Yeah, exactly. I was about to like, make fun of you and then I, I was like, I, I should probably just she goes back. back. I have I have Hello? weird shit. Yeah, I'm always afraid of Yeah, make yeah, go and Steve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, anyways. I, I, I don't try my best. Moving along here. <laughs> no, yes. You are stuck in this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm trying not to make mean jokes to Smithy as much as I can. I'm still gonna make them, but um, I'm afraid that I'm gonna make say something that he's gonna be like, you know what, guys? I've had enough of Nacho shit. I'm done with you guys. <laughs> Blocked, banned, and I'm like, oh, and that that's it. Well, like, he followed me while I was on stream, and it's like, what oh. are you doing, dude? You can't. Uh, do that. The, the, where's the trigger? He did the same thing to me, and like, yeah, yeah. okay. What do you mean, where is it? I'm so thankful that chat. I do not use face cam because he raided me, and I and he and he has a uh, no face cam, no raid policy. At least he did whenever. Um, I don't know if it's still the same. Uh, whenever I was uh, streaming. And I literally saw the raid, and I, I was like, "Thank the Lord in heaven, I don't have a uh, face cam." But the fact that I don't makes this a little bit more meaningful to me, as he raided me because he likes me and not because it was a community thing. And I'm not gonna lie, I was smiling through tears. It, one of the best raids be ever. Or not raid anybody. Not, not one of the best raids. The best raid ever. <laughs> However, what I wanted to say mm. earlier was I never had problems with getting response out of uh, Smithy and DMs because he like messaged me on the hour every hour just calling me mean names. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stir the pot, stir um, the pot, stir the pot. <laughs> my what? head's not going to fit through the door, so can we talk about something else? <laughs> That's okay. We're still working on the anti Canadian. We'll make you fit through the door. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh, I, I, Sugar, what was the thing that happened the other day? We said Bird was going to be proud. I can't remember. I did something oh, to get. Oh, no, never mind. We can't talk about this right now. Bird, I got to talk to you later. I remember okay. what it was. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't also, remember what it was. Me and so things make me I also meeting, need to be told. <laughs> the meeting that we had with individual certain oh, people. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cannot um, talk about it live. Yes. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I got to. Yeah, we'll do that. Next day on the meet, eh? 
Is it? This is is this an after stream discussion. Yeah. No. Yes. Anyway. Maybe. Would we um, like to hear um, the recap? I'm not seeing it on your end, Smithy. Uh, sure. I think they're fixing OBS though. Also, my what? plan is I'm gonna keep inflating Smithy's ego until he acts as like a emergency air balloon to get us out of the water. <laughs> That's the wrong what? person's ego. You've got to be inflating Rogar's ego for that to work. Hello? Oh, Hello? yeah. Well, probably, to... uh... I probably should be doing it I, to uh, I don't know why, because... Game on Steve. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, to be fair. You guys talking about me? I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I'm I don't, I don't know what, what it is. <laughs> I, I think it's more like unofficial, like it hasn't been confirmed people. type of That's thing. That's like yet. on the okay, list cool. of things that it's not, I'm that not we for. We don't want to, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no. You guys don't. would have to get down to me first. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on oh, it, okay. Okay. Try. Also, even Come if on. we didn't start the recap for another 10 minutes, which I think we should start up now, we would still be ahead of schedule. And I just think that's impressive, guys. We're doing so good. Nice. <laughs> I, I, I think Scotty should get started. <laughs> Okay, everyone ready for the recap? Ready. Yes. ready. Let's do ready, it. Ready. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to session 15 recap, allies to the cause. Testing. We, we pick up the party. Having met Esmeralda, who was the fortune teller that Smithy's character, Rogar, interacted with in the Blue Water Inn during the night. Having had a couple of chats and found out that the person who is Rick, who was in the Blue Water Inn, but also was organizing the carnival, was none other than the legendary vampire hunter Van Richten. And so we have this conversation. And Esmeralda, we find out, is actually Van Richten's apprentice who he sent away. Van Richten has been hunting Strahd, but has decided to hide himself away. And as he's gotten older, he's not able to do it alone now. It's at this point that we also have this discussion with a couple of the party members, whereas a bunch of the other party members see something happening over at the caravan, the carnival caravan. Nikolai and Carl are furiously trying to get into the lock, into the back, where Altharian and Avery looked through. However, Altharian's in this conversation with Esmeralda at this point with a couple of the other party members. So they stay there unbeknownst to everything that's going on over there. So, whilst... Half the party stays with Esmeralda, the other half go over and stop Nikolai and Carl from getting in there. It's at this point, as they walk away, Van Richten comes out, not, you know, in his disguise, and, and thanks the people who were there for, for scaring them away and being like, oh, thank you for, you know, because it would have been really bad if it had been let, let out. And so we find out that the ti the, the cat-like creature in there is a saber-toothed tiger. It will harm people if it's threatened. It doesn't like Vistani. And it's armoured in half-plate armour with black and filigree on it. Which is awesome. It, that's, that's such an amazing description. I love it. Um, and so as Van Richten's walking over... The other half of the party talking with Esmeralda, Esmeralda points to over and goes, there he is, in the middle of the conversation. So, Rogar walks in and goes in to Esmeralda's caravan to get a scroll for the spell of sending. And once he opens the scroll, reads it, all the writing disappears, and he now knows the spell. We then head over as well over to the caravan. Esmeralda does not come with us. However, she does ask us to... Uh, no, she doesn't. She said that she's going to be heading to his tower as well. Um, now, we do also ask her about the missing children. She said her best guess was either the lake 
or the Baron and the Burgomaster. So Altharion was really keen to get that information. We then go and we then join with the rest of the party with Van Richten. And we get to talking with them. Now he has disguised himself as a half-elf bard. And having opened the, the caravan, Evanora being there is all over the Sabretooth Tiger. All over him. And just belly rubs and just in amongst it. Whilst I believe it is also Rogar once he joins in kind of, and having a chat um, with Van Richten. I can't remember exactly which party members were in that conversation, but there was a couple of people in there talking with Van Richten. Um, and we have a bit of a, a bit of a back and forth discussion with him. Pretty much saying that we've got the same goal. He reveals that he's too old to do it alone. And he's quite possibly down to join us. Now, due to some absolutely amazing charisma roles. Because he is so thankful and helpful, he opens up his stash of vampire hunting gear. Hidden in the back of the caravan that the Sabretooth Tiger is protecting. Altharion scores a bunch of silver-tipped arrows that he's keen about. Everyone grabs silver daggers, stakes, everything that they need. And Smithy grabs... A, Smithy's character, Rogar, grabs the purple velvet bag from Avery. Because it has what we now know to be... Where is it? Where's the sword? The Sun Sword. A sentient weapon... That Van Richten cautions Rogar not to pull out unless he's really needing to use it. Because it'll glow in this place. Be with, with the uh, dimension of the dread so dark, it will be a beacon of light for everyone to see. And it's at this point... Altharion's kind of a bit miffed because it's like, well, now Rogar's got a magical longsword. Rukar's got a magical longsword. When's he going to get a magical longsword? <laughs> He's like, and you get one and you get one, but you don't get one. It's like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> but also the, the sun sword is attuned to chaotic good, which is Rogar's character. So it makes sense. Altharion is lawful good. So it would not work out too well. Van Richten... Red. Yeah, <laughs> rip. <laughs> Van Richten then tells us to meet him at his tower in three days' time. Now, the tower used to belong to the Lich of Strahd, Cassian. And Van Richten also has another few allies that he can add to our cause. Now, as we start to finish up this conversation, we go, well, we've got the information off... Esmeralda, but we also organized a meeting with Van Richten a couple of hours later in the Blue Water Inn. But not in the inn itself, in the stables to discuss the children's situation as well. It's at this point the party decide, let's go to the lake. We've got a bit of time so we can figure things out. As we pass through Lady Fiona's house, we see Carl and Nikolai standing there and... Carl, for some reason, thinks he recognizes Evanora and doesn't really, doesn't know why, but thinks he does. Who knows? When we get to the lake, the lake is like Izvonovich, I believe is what it's pronounced as. Or if I've wrote, read it wrong. Um, the water is perfectly still. It is reflective on the surface. It gives off an uneasy feeling, an eerie feeling. Bluto is still out in the middle. But he's staring off in the woods to the north. He has several burlap sacks in his boat and one currently is moving at this point. Now, of course, before this, Avery decides to change his appearance and fly. And the rest of the party deliberates over whether we should go in boats. Rogar, Dracax, and Naga decide to go. 
and then Evanora, Altharian, Carrick, Varric, uh, and Ruka are all still figuring out because you can only fit four people in a boat. It's at this point, Evanora uses her daily ability, sprout wings, and flies over. And then Altharian and Ruka just go, all right, let's roll across. And the boys just start rowing. As they're starting to head over, Dracax, Rogar, and Naga see something come down and swoop up one of the Hessian, Hessian bags and moves to the northern shore. Avery, carrying this bag, drops it and then heads back. But as he's doing so, Bluto drops two bags into the water. Now, at this point, Avery then goes in, grabs Bluto instead, and takes him to the shore. And then also, Dracax then dives into the water to follow those two bags. Rogar and Naga keep on going, and they careen straight into Bluto's boat, over into the shore. Actually, I got that messed up. Because Naga, uh, our Avery didn't get the bat, uh, didn't get Bluto. Bluto was still in the boat at that point in time. My apologies. Um, and Rogar sends the boat careening into Bluto's, and they just send it to shore, like literally send it, like Ramstrap Bestrat style. And Ro oh, and, Ro yeah. and Rogar gets such a good roll that he jumps, and as Bluto's falling out, Rogar just tackles him. Holds him up by the shoulders and just goes, what are you doing? What are you to throw in there? And find out that in the lake, there are corrupted merfolk. That Bluto has been sending gold and trinkets and children into the lake so that the corrupted merfolk could bring them fish to have as food. However, the merfolk are most interested in magical items. And then it's the Baron that has put Bluto up to find getting these children and putting them into the lake. Whilst this information is being found out, Rogar ties him up and decides to go back into the lake after Dracax. Avery also comes in and swoops into the lake doing the same thing and Evanora as well it's at this point the other boat with Rukar Alfarian Carrick and Varric gets to the other side of the shore where there's a little girl with Naga who was in one of those sacks that Avery saved she just wants to go home and Naga's just comforting her but we get over there and Altharian seeing, having seen the other boat, Kareen, Bluto go flying, Rogar tackling him to the ground. And Bluto's nowhere to be seen. Once the other party gets to the other shore. And that is where we pick up. Session 16, there's something in the water. Was anybody else upset that there wasn't any dramatic gasps in your in your key <laughs> moments there this round? <laughs> there we go. Now, now, now I feel much better. Okay. Sorry. Oh, we can start now. How they have to be dare. so perfectly timed, and I miss them, and then I just... I, <laughs> you know, when the moments pass, you can't do it retroactively, all right? So. That, that is true. That is very true. That's very I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be better next time. I'm sorry. Jesus. You have one job. Come on. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You <laughs> You're fine. On. I have nothing else going on. How dare I? Yeah, like you only have one thing to pay attention to right now. Nothing else. Nope. Nothing <laughs> at all. Whatsoever. Nothing. Nothing else is going on. Nothing. Not at all. Might as well be in an isolated box in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well, honestly. Aren't we all? I am. This is my box. This is mine. <laughs> I am the box. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So if we're... Nope, that's that's dirty. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. No, I don't want anybody. Nope. But 
What? That's where I was going. I was like, wait, so if you're the box and we're inside a box, are we okay, having a, a box, a not the box. No, no, that's the after, that's the wow. after stream character session. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Uh, wow. You can't tell everybody our secrets. Boy, oh boy. How else are they going to know our bonding <laughs> techniques? <laughs> Cut this out of the podcast. Cut this out of the podcast. <laughs> Uh, uh, Lord. Oh, no. is gold. Let's let's be real here. All right. I mean, I don't think they want to know though? about our. <laughs> I don't think is they it? Know about our after podcast active. I mean, what do you Need the after dark podcast. It's <laughs> after dark podcast. Yeah, turn to the <laughs> <laughs> Plus what yeah, that's that? that's a worrying specific number. 60, 10 plus 12? Hmm? What? That's I worrying. Know. Oh, God, what'd she do? No, I didn't do anything. I, not, mm -hmm. You're lying. We're all going to die. Nothing. I just, I'm just going to. Absolutely nothing. I know. Well, on the bright side, you know? she lowered on the. <laughs> Preemptively. On, on, on the. Than I have. <laughs> just, just <laughs> casually. <laughs> uh, on the bright side, roll hey, a s sixty ten plus twelve. That's a good one too. Oh, that was on me. Let's just go down the line real quick. Uh, that, that, was, was, uh, that was the lower level uh, of the ooh. average. So we we did better than we what, what we oh? should have. Is there a roll for resting on the beach? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Can I charisma yeah. out of whatever we're about to? Happen? No, <laughs> that's, that's I, not, we need a roll. I, 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 I got it. Here we go. Oh, man, that was, here, here, that here was we go. adorable. Can I cover it? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, you you so do I have think, bright yeah. angelic wings. <laughs> she does. She's very. I do. I do. Very charismatic and beautiful right now. So don't even do that. Can you just shrink down, please? Thanks. Okay. I mean, really, I can't. I I've been trying, but I can't. Oh, I need. I need. You I don't know. Like Sugar can get notch. much smaller though. Yeah, she oh, is very right, small. Look, listen here. Listen, me and Sugar are about the same size. All right. So, <laughs> oh, and we're short. Oh, uh, I'm gosh. gonna find out. Look. Let me let me remind right, I'm sorry. everyone I'm that Bert is the DM. Here, I keep, I keep and and the moment yes. that you guys call her short, she's gonna literally TPK everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. remember here who yeah. else is vertically challenged, um, yeah, and that we're on the same team. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, by association. I I, I can't nope, actually make fun of you guys because I'm shorter than both of you. So. Shut up, box. No, yeah, you're not. I'm blind. My God. When you're laying down, sure. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting. Sitting for sure. Uh, it's close if he's sitting. If I'm oh, if sitting. I'm on my knees, I'll probably be your guys' height. You bite me, okay? <laughs> I don't want to. I get I get a daily message from Terror reminding me that I'm short. Just so you know, <laughs> I'm nice well, guy. Hey, that's I'm good. Just, he's just you know. making sure you don't forget. He's that's just, that's I, a really I, nice friend. It. I know. He just just a reminder that you're short. I'm like, okay, thanks. Uh, by the way, just a side note, I have to show him a picture later, so I have to get into my game later. But I've been playing Gas uh, Station Simulator because I'm fucking crazy. Um, and, and why would you tell me that? Here's the next one. You tell me that he is in the game. No joke. There is a customer that comes into the store that is freaking terror. Haircut, glasses, black shirt, uh, tie, everything. Heard. It is it is terror. And I told him, and I said, by the way, I don't know who you left an impression on. On one of your gas station trips, but you're in this game, and I have to show him after, so I will show you as well because um, it's freaking hilarious. Hey, hey, Bert, Why would you tell me that? Can you check the M? <laughs> yeah. Why would you do I, that? It just came out like two, two three <laughs> days ago. Uh, you, thank you, Box. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you. I appreciate. And Smithy's gone. He, he's he's yeah. lost it. He's yep. done. He's dead. 
He's laughing. I, I, <laughs> this looks like so much fun. It's so what? much fun. It's so much fun. It's 20 bucks. Wait, can you like upgrade? And this is you what day it is devolved like into chat. For each level. Um, you're trying to, I, I'm, I'm keen to uh, get into the game here, your but like. Your <laughs> uncle apparently is part of like the mafia or some shit and keeps trying to attack you. It's kind of hilarious. Hey. There's a little kid that runs around spray painting your, your freaking building. So you have to like throw garbage at him. You have to keep. Yeah, and you, you eventually can get like employees to work for you and you can like assign them stations and you can level them up and you make a lot of money. It's really, it's a lot of fun, actually. All right, Bert, what other aliens? like BS oh, simulation God. game do I need I to grab? Like, I, 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 I actually have one for you. Really, I, really I, good. I mean, we um, are kind of playing a, a, a simulation game right now called Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, I mean, pretty <laughs> much. So uh, there is yeah. one thing I will say, be careful with streaming. Um, unless there's a setting, there might be. I haven't looked because I haven't been streaming. Um, but the little boy that runs around and paints the shit on the walls draws like penises and curses and stuff. Oh, like my that. favorite. Yeah, so he's real cool. But I do believe that when you first start the game in the settings, you can turn him off. So he just won't do it. We um, prefer to turning him on. I'm good. Are you okay, I am? No, he's dying. Um, we are killing him right now. No, no. <laughs> That's my shit. I'm the no, one who's dying. Sugar's chat is killing me right now. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not there. Oh, no. Oh, Sugar. I, we have, we will talk about all of the simulation games oh my that God, I God. like to play. Um, yeah. So there's one coming oh. out on like November 2nd called Unpacking Simulator, which I cannot wait Stop. for. Stop. No, Stop. I played the demo. No. It was so good. So good. No. I, yeah. I only have oh, yeah. one thing. I only have so much money, okay? No, I only have so much. But it's I am so honestly, good. I am honestly surprised that you want to play a simulator based around packing and unpacking shit. They play games about cutting freaking grass. Go no, shut no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I just finished getting to max everything on Power Washer Simulator. I'm waiting for the next update. You zip you, it, you okay? Know, you, you know the reason that I say that, right? She spends the whole freaking day packing and unpacking shit. <laughs> I do. But it's yeah. different. Um, Why the fuck did you Because <laughs> but it's different. I've lost my marbles and it's totally right. different and it's therapeutic. Uh, and uh, one more if thing there was like a dishwasher simulator, I would do that too. All right, enough. Okay? Just saying. Uh, that would be fun. One more thing. That that I Oops, let's go. Yes. <laughs> Wait, one more thing I want to put uh, Sugar on to. Sugar, you have a VR headset, right? Yes. Uh, House Flipper VR. It's a thing. Oh, it oh is so God. good. It is a little difficult, I'll say. It's, <laughs> uh, but if you really want to play a good one, Rags to Dishes is such a good cooking game. It's a blast. I have a level with that one. If you I think have that house games are good on flat screen, imagine whenever you play it's VR. So There's... VR. I have that game. Drax, I'm with In you. VR? <laughs> yes. Look, listen, listen. Sugar, I, I even told you about VR, it. To be honest, I hate it here. <laughs> I, I am, uh, yeah. We are part of the problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm what they call an instigator, so. We know. Yeah. We know. I, I like to cause issues. Yes. Even if it's unintentional. Oh, God. Most of the time it's intentional. Bum simulator. But... You've got to be kidding. I mean, there's that oh, just, we haven't just... played yet that we have to play. Okay, I get off Steam. All right, okay, I take the thing about D &D. I, 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 that's that's what I've been after. I, that's what I've been trying to do for the past ten minutes. No, that's oh my god, I got here late. All right, we had to fill in the, I, the bowl. I rescind my previous statement about us being ahead of schedule. No, 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 no. Um, but oh. I will say that this potentially could be a shorter episode. Uh oh. Fuck. Uh oh. No! 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 Can you just. That was a you're not okay, kill me. See, there's the word. There's the word. I'm not uh -huh. aiming for one, but if you idiots bring us to that point, uh -huh. I will I have to TPK. Always TPK'd. an option. Always I, I an would option. like to remind everyone that technically none of you guys know whether I'm still alive or not. 
Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're that fully aware. Oh, oh, and we're I, I'm very aware in the water. So yeah. How and everyone jumped water? in the mirrored the mirrored water that yeah. tried to drown Nacho literally like yeah. two days ago. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, I think so it was feeding yesterday. children to. <laughs> yeah. But our boy. It's our homie. Well, it's, well, it's I, about I to must, be our boys. I had to add, I had to add that your cup is not full anymore. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's not full. Okay. okay. Question. Since we're all in the water, are we no longer the boys, but are we the buoys? I'm sorry. Let's Get continue. Out. Get out. Get out. Okay. Nope. No, we're done. Uh, uh, Alright, stream's over, bye guys! <laughs> See, now oh, we actually we went. Who went? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, he's what? back. What did you mess with my overlay? Overlays. <laughs> All overlays are okay, I promise. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was worth it just to cause that little Hold, bit of like the, oh, little shit. bit of chaos. Yeah, totally yeah, a little bit of chaos. Little, didn't bother uh, me at all. Background <laughs> Oh god, did that mess up my stream? Oh god. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I thought for a second because I closed out of the full screen like Discord calls. Like, oh, that that's a thing on my stream. Oh that's, no. That is definitely a thing. That is going to D and D Beyond. <laughs> Creating a new <laughs> character. <laughs> one of my building. One of my one of my favorite jokes is like. Okay, how much damage do you take? Okay, I need you to roll 4d6. All right, do it again. Mm-hmm. Do it again. Okay, I just want to point out that she was rolling, what, 12d6 uh, or 6d10 no, plus 12? 6d10 plus 12. Yeah, no big deal. No, it's not um, a big deal at all. When I start so rolling rapid fire d20s, that's when you have to worry. I don't what, have as many hit roll? points as what you rolled, so I'm just no, saying. But that could be fair. <laughs> you don't she have could to have been... That. From a, like a DM standpoint, she could have been rolling that to determine a specific encounter that happens in the water because they Got DMs it. do get those tables. I get so. a lot of tables. Uh, there's a lot of tables in here. Um, a whole lot more there's a lot of happening. things that that. Well, that's not me. Um, that there's a lot of things that I do roll for if I have a character coming up that I have to roll for their health. Um, also, uh, different kinds of events that come up. Um, if I have you guys roll a d20, random d20, um, it's likely to decide an event that's about to come up. Um, or every once in a while, I'll also have you guys roll a random number set. That's for different kinds of mad magic and stuff like that that I have built into the game, sanity rolls, etc. So, things like that that come up, you, you don't really have to worry when I'm prepping for a session like that. It's during the session, if I randomly start rolling like random D20s, you might want to worry a little bit, but that kind of stuff is, if it, if I'm planning something that's going to be so large, I'm not rolling in front of you. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hello, buddy. <laughs> Can you say nine nine? Bye bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. Uh, Bye. Can you go? Bye. Can you go? Oh, it's getting so clear now too. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That was that was, that was adorable. That was precious. Mm-hmm. You just See, melted her little man. This is why I don't need children anymore because I can watch her do it. I don't gotta I do think, it. <laughs> I think that got sugar on that one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was a good but, one. Yeah, that makes that makes it easy for me. Did did you watch what we did to her? No, not yeah, did yet. Did you watch my pipeline I, scholarship video? I, I didn't yet. No, I. Wow. So okay, right. so uh, <laughs> post stream, we're watching yeah, it in the Discord, absolutely. so we can listen to Bird break. Um. Um. Oh, um, thanks. Okay, great. Great. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's no, you know. Bird night. Okay. All right. Yes. I chose violence. I deserve this. Okay. You did. So she get for rolling that. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take my karma. I'll own it. Uh, get all, right, all these dice off my screen first of all. Okay. Thanks. Last we were, just for placement. Kane was going down. Into the center, shallow, water that suddenly goes very deep. 
who was behind him. So we had Rogar dove Meek. in after him. We had Meek in the door. Somebody's yes, very quiet. but originally it was just Rogar, Box, uh, Avery, sorry. Um, Naga was sitting with the little girl. Uh, Tharian was talking to... I'm just trying to place everybody again. I was talking, was talking to, Naga. to Naga. Yeah. Um... Rokar, uh, yeah, Rokar, Karak, and Varric were Ooh. not there yet. Ooh. You. Rukar. Rukar. I said Rukar, didn't I? You're right. Look, luck. It's been a long day. I'll get there. You guys weren't there yet. You were still in the boat, right? Coming across? I believe so, yeah. I believe so, yes. Yeah. No. Where we left. No, we, we you landed. Guys were with, you, you landed, okay, and then she yeah. dove in, and Evanora dove in. Okay. What on the shore do we want to do at this point? Now you saw Evanor is gone. You know that Avery and Rogar are after Drac, who is has been gone for a while at this point. Um, probably ten to fifteen minutes underwater. By standard life that everyone knows of, he is of dragon and cannot breathe underwater. Just general knowledge. Feeling what would you guys like different. to do? I I'm currently like to Naga, I'm like, where's Bluto? Right. That was the conversation that you guys kind of ended on the last time. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to pursue that line of questioning. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go back to that and then just plan you guys out. And then we're going to go visit Drac and see what's going on. Is Fire busy with Child at the moment? I, I just put him up. Is, oh, is yeah. Fire I'm back now. Child? Is that fire was... with child? Yes. <laughs> that would be. It was yes. Just right. being sure. intense. Uh, info drop. Mm hmm All right. So we're picking up fire um, with the questioning to you as to where Bluto is from oh. Altharian. Oh. Okay. We're doing this. All right. <laughs> is Dad mad? <laughs> Is dad mad? Uh, maybe. A little. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, keep in mind, Naga is trying to console this this girl. Yeah. So. Who is still crying and moaning and whining for her family, but not loudly. It's more of a quiet to herself cry like you could hear her pretty well Naga because you're right on top of her essentially um but Eltharian might struggle to hear what she's saying to even hear her crying okay sounds good all right um uh, so Naga where's Bluto where is he uh, he's, he's gone. What do you, what do you mean he's gone? I saw him And he's here. gone. What, well, you guys... he was here. So, so you guys just, you know, crashed his boat, took him, like, careened him into the shore and then let him run? Like, what happened? All right, we're starting off with the with the hard choices already. With the hard hold choices, up, yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold, please. Uh, okay. Um. So he's going to explain. So <clears throat> me, Rogar. Uh, who else was in the boat at the time? It was me, Rogar, and it was just you and Rogar uh, at that point. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I thought yeah, there was someone else. Drax had, sure. had jumped in. <clears throat> no, Avery was flying. 
in front of us. That's right. Everyone turned into yeah. a bird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had a bunch of birds. Yes. Yep. Um. Okay. So, yeah. So I'll explain how Rogar and I rammed into Bluto's boat and beached him. Um. They then proceeded to kind of interrogate Bluto. To be honest, it felt more like bullying than interrogating, but that's besides the point then. They very quickly all jumped into the water. Bluto was tied up. I talked with him for a while. And to be honest, I'm unsure that he's doing something wrong here. And I cut him loose and let him go. I gave him all of my rations, every single one, for him to give to the town and feed them. But I I let him go. So, am I right in saying that by the child that's right next to you, that we were correct in thinking that Bluto was feeding children to the lake. Correct. I don't think we understood why, though. So I'm just making notes. Both had a notepad in the middle of talking to you and just started writing things down like a detective. Yeah, yeah, Dad's like, <laughs> yeah. Thing down, like the point. I always <laughs> write notes during. Sh I always <laughs> like write notes during D and D. That I was the first oh, yeah, thought yeah, I yeah, had was sure. just like you flipping out a little notepad. Like, okay, right, tell me the story. Mm -hmm. You know what? I am so overwhelmed with rage that I need to write this down so I, I can properly it's process just it the later. The first thing that popped into my head. I love it. He's just throwing a mm hmm in there every mm -hmm. once in a while. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Did he right, tell you right, 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 what yeah. happened? Yeah. Did he I tell you so why? How does it make you feel? Did he tell you yeah, why he's he feeding did. the children? The, why he did? They they have no food. Um, this is their only source of eating uh, for the entire village. They don't have any means of growing anything themselves. They don't have livestock. They don't have anything that they can do themselves. The only way they can get food is from the fish in the lake. They are feeding orphans to the lake to get these sort of weird mer merfolk away from the fish so that they'll give them to them for the town to eat. So they are making a very, very difficult uh, moral conundrum here where they are sacrificing few to save the many. Um, I will tell you, in talking with Bluto, he, he is a shell of a man at this point because he has had to do this for so long. And I promised him that we would kill Strahd and destroy him as soon as we can. Um... He mentioned how if Strahd is gone, all of this fixes itself. Okay. I I see why it would be such a conundrum. I can see why they're doing it. Does it does it make it okay in my books? No. Yeah, I I They're picking a lesser of two evils and I understand that, but they're still picking an evil instead of deciding to rally and deciding to fight against Strahd. They can't do that, man. L look at her. And uh, Naga will point at the girl. 
and be like, is she? I literally gave her a ration and she's taking a 10. Hey, Saj America, thanks, brother. <clears throat> if they are that strapped for food, there's no way in hell they're strong enough to do anything against literally someone who could probably destroy all of us right now. We're, there, we're probably their only chance at getting out of this mess. And so I'm hoping that the 25 rations I gave them will hold that, uh, hold them over for a bit while we seek out to destroy them ourselves. Do what they can. And I understand that the general people can't do that, but, but what about the Baron? What about the Burgermaster? What about all the guards? Are, are they just there to defend themselves? Are, are, are they not willing... To, to try and fight are they not willing to try and fight with us because if this is going on if they're having to make this kind of decision you know why haven't they chosen to fight first that's what I don't get why accept the situation instead of trying to change it they are trying to change it they're trying to change it in the one way they can that's that's what they're doing here. That's that's what this is. They, they there's no way that the people there could could fight uh, the little bits that were. Uh, I mean, we're literally in this weird demi plane of existence based off of what this guy can do. That alone tells me all I need to know about a town full of people trying to fight against this man. He's a tyrant. There's, there's, there's no way that they can just stand up and do something. Maybe they can with our help, but until we've shown up, there's no way they could have done anything for this. For this. I guess. Like, you know me, Naga. I can make good berries. Like for crying out loud. Like, if I have to do that until the cows come home, so everyone's good for at least a day. I will. You can you can make ten though, right? Yes. Per per slot. Per day. Gotcha. So I can make sure that there's I think I've got four spell slots three or four spell slots. <laughs> Evanora. Reading this chat just I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I have to keep moving away from my microphone. <laughs> oh my god. That's angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, Rogar's taking Naga a swim. Plus, throw him out of the airlock. I love it. I, <laughs> if if I can help sustain a fighting force of thirty to forty people, that's going to be huge for us. And that's great. So let's do it. Like I said, I, I made a promise to him that we would try and stop Strahd to try and make it where they no longer have to do this. And but I, I, I as understand. far as he's concerned, I I have a hard time believing that he's the one at fault here. I I'm I have not... a hard time feeling that he's the one who's he, he's. For all we know, he drew the short straw out of the village to try and figure out some sort of solution here, and this is it. I mean, if they don't do this, they have no means of food anywhere else. Look. As much as Bluto could have been, like, you know, whether he's in the wrong or in the right, I... We've just let him go. What, you know, we could have actually asked him to stay here and actually allowed us and, and actually maybe taken us to the Baron so that we could actually discuss it together with him and actually say, look, this is what we're able to do to help. Like, I don't think just letting him go was the wisest decision in this moment. Considering the way that some other people were acting towards him, I did not feel right keeping him here. He was in a very dangerous situation that he is being forced into. I... I understand he's being forced into it. I'm, I'm, you know, don't get me wrong. I understand that someone in a metaphorical sense has got a knife to his throat. At the same time, if we present it a solution... Metaphorical. But 
if we're like you know why we're here naga we're here to do exactly what you just said if he wants the same thing and he can get us an audience with the baron we can have a diplomatic path here to get as many people together look at this point we've probably got a a, a small alliance of maybe 15 of us if we had have gotten the baron on side with all of his guards with the townsfolk who wanted to fight you know how many people that would have been hundreds why can't we still do that the little girl leans into naga a little bit and she goes but the baron works with strad he won't work with you yeah and that's sort of what i was thinking too but she's very I, I'm has clearly listening and recording in mentally this entire conversation <laughs> you can read it in her eyes especially atharian because you're looking more at her she's super young maybe visually seven or eight years old but she carries herself much older and the way that she's sitting does not remind you of a child it would almost be as if an adult was sitting there stuck in a child's body you throw her in the water Shh, <laughs> um, yeah wow. quite, quite possibly Sorry. game on steve quite possibly <laughs> that was my outdoor voice wasn't it <laughs> Uh, Drac, you're back underwater. Shush. Um, yeah, you're drowning. You know nothing. <laughs> he's obviously not a witch. Yeah. Okay. No, he's sinking. <laughs> D does Altharian hear her say this? Say that Strahd won't help, uh, that he, the Baron uh, works you with You do Strahd? hear her mumble. You, you hear the Baron and you hear Strahd, but you don't really hear the details. Um, she's a very quiet whisper. Um, and she's essentially sitting almost on top of and right next to like shoulder to shoulder touching naga so she's very easily in whispering right to his ear um, was she also naga has really his arm like around her the whole time yeah, yeah naga kind of comforted her a bit where she feels slightly comfortable with him compared comparably All um right. especially the situation she just watched cool well i i haven't actually told what stance i'm taking i'm currently standing yeah so yes. it's at the, it's at this point that she says something and i kind of hear like baron and strad and i'll actually squat down i go do you mind repeating what you just said and she kind of she looks at naga a bit almost for approval um and she she sort of stumbles through the sentence a bit and she goes she was the, the baron and and the burgomaster they they work with Strahd, they they won't help you hurt him. That's yeah, I think I, Nar Naga's going to. Is. Yeah, he's he's gonna butt in and also say like it. We've found a few allies. I am hesitant to start waving the flag of. Hey, we're here to kill the most powerful being in this plane of existence. Just willy nilly. I I'm with I, you on that. Like we we have Van Richten, but we found him. He is even like basically hiding at the moment. Like there's there's a lot going on here that I think we are not privy to, including now the fact that we realize that this. This town is literally like so strapped for surviving, they're giving up their children to do it. Morally, does that suck? Yeah, absolutely. But if I were in their shoes, I don't know what else they would be able to do. So we need to help them. We need to do something to try and rectify that. Something more than just the band-aid solution of let's toss kids in a lake. I agree. We need something more solid. Now, what 
we and now we know we probably shouldn't be like talking too openly around the Baron and Burmeister's areas. Yeah, we should we should watch we out for the guards. Like, if guards are nearby, we should be relatively quiet about this kind of stuff. Like, we can't even talk about it in the Blue Water Inn. The only safe place, potentially, is where we've already saved. Where we can't be touched. Regardless, what we need to do right now... I want to get this girl home, but we also have... Half our party in the lake. Yeah. That tried to eat my best friend, Avery. Oh, I'm the best friend. Look, Naga, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, yeah, he's dead. I, yeah. I, I, I'm not going in that lake. You couldn't put a gun to my head to do it. And by gun, I'm referencing a musket here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm fully aware that they somewhat exist in Forgotten Realms. Yep. He, there's flintlocks. There's yeah. even revolvers. Well, I, I wouldn't go in the lake either for other reasons, but that's just me. Okay. Between between you and me, I cannot swim. I, I can swim fine. It's just that lake, after seeing what happened to Avery, no thanks. Well, they're in there, so we gotta figure something out. <laughs> really, Drax? Come on. <laughs> that is not my attitude here. Wow. All I'm hearing. This, this is definitely the, uh, if your friend tells you to jump off a cliff, would you do it too kind of scenario? <laughs> yes, it and is. you say yes. No. Oh, yeah. You say yes if you've got a here. parachute. <laughs> I'm hearing is he's my best friend but look I think for one we've got to get this child back to her family but two we've still got the meeting with Van Richten yeah like we've got a while we've maybe got two hours um how many operational boats do we have two currently ish right because we did yeah. like ram two of them you'd, you'd, have to, you'd have to kind of repair one a little bit right okay ramming speed carpentry yeah. experience yeah yeah i do no i'm joking i mean how Michael long smith on the case <laughs> how long My sources tell me that one two by six can patch a hole real good <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> see if they flood. I learned this in a place. Yeah. Um how how far around did we figure out that it would take to to walk around the edge of the shorebird? It'd be about forty five minutes. 50. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well, not all of us can fit because I, I I look at the boat that's in disrepair i'm like to be honest i don't know how to fix that that's that's not in my wheelhouse but what i can navigate is nature like half of us are birds anyways it'll be all right <laughs> i'm not though the there's five of us here only four of us fit in the boat wait so we've actually got three boats that are sitting there. No, right? one of them was one of them was too destroyed to use. Okay, so one's too destroyed yeah. to use. So you ended up with two. Okay, so Blitter's yeah. boat's completely obliterated. Is obliterated, right? Yeah. You have the boat that they came in on that would have to be repaired, and then the one you guys just took over. Okay. Why don't Ruka? Can you? with Naga, Varric, and Karak head across, back across the lake. And I I am happy to solo it around the edge. I, I'm proficient in athletics. So I- You want me to go out of the water? I, I 
guess. No, no, as in just get across to the other side as quick as possible. Because if if we're gonna at least try and help our party, we need to you know get back on that water with the boat with at least some space. Unless someone here knows how to fix this other boat. Because I don't. No, I, I would have no idea how to fix a boat. Barrack? Carrack? They'd be proficient in stones, huh? <laughs> yeah, stones and metal. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Magically make it sink. I mean, Rutar promptly starts making it into an ironclad. <laughs> my portable anvil. And... I feel like a portable anvil would not be too good. I mean, honestly, the first Magic. were just big rocks, so. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, but portable implies. Yeah, the first steamboat. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. All right. Or I can stay here oh, instead of going here. around. No, that's, that's fine. I'm just being sassy. Like, or I could just wait here. Like, but I, I... But if I die on the water, I'm haunting you. <laughs> if I'm haunting you, this is my threat. Yeah, exactly, Drax. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why Altharian's willing to stay on the shore. Because then he can... Naga... You're still missing the girl. No. Naga, Varric, Karak. Ah, yes. You are correct. So two of us have to stay. <laughs> two of I us mean, Naga and the girl are about the same size. So, uh, you know, you can kind of count yeah, them as one. a total human. Yes. <laughs> I would say they're one. Uh, by body weight. Uh, that would Speed kind of, being that would short be does come in handy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would I would say that that would quantify. So, I mean, she's sure uh, she she's very light, very thin, very emaciated. Um, yeah. No, All right. Fine. Well, in that case, if you guys want to go, I can stealth up here <laughs> and I can just hide. And, and so whatever's out here, you know, we can know the wolves that patrol this north side. I, I can I can handle myself here. But we need to get back to the other side. What about the people in the water though? I I honestly don't know what to do for them. I Sacrifices honestly... have to be made. It's whatever. I, I go back to that, huh? I was not there <laughs> to make that choice. Draxax made his choice. Avery made his choice. Rogar <laughs> made his choice. Evanora made her choice. Now, don't get me wrong. It hurts. Like, I want to do something. But I don't know what's down there. I don't know what's going on. And I'm not comfortable going into a situation that I know nothing about. I'm, I'm already out of my depth already in this place. Ah, I got it. Good pun. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so... Totally unintentional. It, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> totally unintentional. <laughs> you just got it now, too. <laughs> <laughs> when people make puns, get out. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, Love but that, that was not an intentional pun. So I've had to lay on realizing what he said. <laughs> it was yep. even better. <laughs> yep. Beautiful. <laughs> That Gold. was very well worth the clip making because that needs to be made into a nice little gif. Um, just like... <laughs> that was clipped. Yeah. <laughs> um... nice. So, yeah, I, I'm already like trying my best to help lead and, and help this party with my knowledge. It's just... I'm doing the best I can. I honestly Any, anyone yeah. that's on the shore right now make a perception check 
You're 100 percent oh. asking a guy who has no desire to go into the water to go in the water. So. <laughs> wow, those are some good perceptions. Those are some really good rolls. Those are really good rolls. Box, you're not. Does the girl get a roll? <laughs> um. You know what? Oh, also Naga asks what her name is. I think I think I asked before, but I can't remember. Arabelle. Oh, like okay. Annabelle, but with an R. Hmm. Um, I'm just gonna roll her a D20. That's what I'll do. <clears throat> we'll see what she sees. Okay. She's not a creepy chum. Well, she's kinda creepy. Alright. That's pretty good. Um I mean a lot of kids are creepy to be uh, honest. Yeah, generally speaking, they just hold that aura. So yeah. Varric, Rukar, and Naga, anybody essentially over 15, um, looking around just as you're having this conversation and trying to kind of make plans of where you're looking to go. Inland towards, I'm gonna just hopefully this works, uh, in here in this little inner cusp of this, the trees here, is a darkened pathway that looks closed, but it's not. There's there's a, a narrow walkway that you could essentially look into if you tried hard enough. It's pretty dark. It's not as dark as the other pathways that you've seen, but the bushes on the inside of that narrow pathway are moving unnaturally compared to the rest. And it takes you guys a couple of minutes to notice it. A couple of lookbacks in the middle of conversation and, and talking to Altharian and trying to decide what to do and, you know, who takes the boat, if you take the boat, if you all walk, whatever the case may be. It takes you a couple times to notice it, but it's there. We notice it now? Uh, and only then, then anybody and... over a 15. Yeah. Yeah, you so neither of us. No, well, I would assume that based on your perception rolls, it would be where you're standing and your line of sight. So if Naga and the girl are looking at you, Altharian, you're not looking at the trees. Yeah. So right. essentially your back would be to that corner of the area, if that makes sense. Yeah, so they're kind of like looking past me in a sense. Right. So you're right. kind of looking towards the water. And we're towards the looking. water, exactly. You're looking like at him, right. Yeah. So, Rugar is going to alert everyone at that point that something's not right. What do you say? There's something moving in the bushes behind you. Um, Naga is quickly going to take a swig out of his uh, water, water skin. And Carrick's going to quickly uh, attempt. <laughs> it's kind of a chameleon at this point. He's blending into the bush as okay, best he can. Sure. Sure. He's starting to look like a weird tree. <laughs> Altharian's going <laughs> to... Just throws a leaf here and there. Um, beautiful. What's Altharian doing? Sorry. Altharian's going to draw his long sword and go, get in the boat now. After he's turned around and after Rukar's alerted him. Okay. So now you have your sword out. You're facing the opening in the bushes or the trees, rather. And Naga is efficiently drunken, I guess, in a way. Naga, inside this section of the trees looks like a pretty clear pathway that opens up into a larger plane um and in the distance if you look closely like really closely looks like a tower of some sort clear as day is this before or after i take a drink sure okay so I will let y'all know that I think this is another one of those weird tree illusions like we had before to find that shortcut, but that there's a tower like 
over there as well. I don't see anyone, but there is a tower like far, far in the distance through the trees there. That's Strahd's. It's gotta be. We can't stay here. I mean, does it look spoopy? No, um, not really. It actually looks pretty okay. Um, not like the the area of the the gates where that was that castle-y looking thing in the far far distance. Um, it looks more approachable, more like the um, the bone grinder, how it was approachable but kind of falling apart. Not spooky, really. And you don't see any weird dark horses. Ruined, not haunted. Not haunted. Yeah. So I'll, I'll explain that to you, Altharian. Uh, it. I mean, for all intents and purposes, who knows? Like, he could be living in uh, a cabin in the woods for all we know. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't give me spoopy vibes. So I, I'm not. I don't know if I'm super worried about it. I, I just know that Esmeralda told us that Strahd's Tower is to the north. I'm very hesitant to head that way anytime soon. The only reason we should head that way is when we're looking for the mage. And we are down half our party. So, I, I, I still urge you guys, get in the boat, go. Well, I'm not getting in the boat with who knows what just inside the, the tree line. I'm not leaving you alone like that. We've already lost half our party. And if you think that's going to happen, you're going to have to try and toss me in the boat. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna toss a dwarf. Do <laughs> it. It's not good taste. <laughs> hey, the dwarf He's has to ask one. to be tossed. Okay. He has to be. He has to say that he can't make the distance. Naga Naga covers his <laughs> eyes and uh, Arabelle's eyes as well. <laughs> we won't know. <laughs> It'll be a secret. Love that you guys don't even pick up on the reference. I think. Oh, no, no, no. We got the, no, we got the reference. <laughs> okay. We got it. We're good, allowing good. it to happen. Like, <laughs> yeah. We're waiting for chats to catch up. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like I said, we're not, right. we're not looking. We're not watching. So we'll be fine. Technically, I'm drowning in a lake somewhere. So, you know. Yes, right. sure. I mean, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, Dracax is drowned. So. The, the, the only thing <laughs> is, is that we've got the elf right here, though. <laughs> Uh, no, and it, 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 I'll turn to, in all seriousness, no, I'll turn to, uh-oh, Rukar, and I'll go, look, if you want to stay here with me whilst the others take the boat and go across, by all means, but I, I'm just ready for a fight right now, I, I'm not, I, I just, yeah, I do not like the look of this, I don't like the feel I of it. Her. Right. I'm not gonna stop Can't make me. with with ev with half the the party in the lake. I don't. We can't split the party. Oh, this is. Then our Farron just lets out a massive I... ah. I'm just if, despair. We've already split the party enough. I I mean honestly, if if there's something in those woods and we can't all get out of danger, I don't see the point in splitting up again. Naga will also add that, I mean, he's not keen on going in the lake whatsoever, considering the, you know, not swimming thing. Um, and he also just does not feel comfortable asking Arabelle to get in, just back in a boat. She's just shaking her head no. Like she yeah. does not want to go on the water again, like I, ever again. I figured. I figured. Yeah. Like I'll I'll walk the whole way around the lake. That's fine. I mean, it's it's the, not a huge deal. Still there? Oh. 
Nice. Wow. No. No. Wow. That's the chaotic part of chaotic. And that is I, definitely I think that the might actually part. be one of the few times Naga actually wants to hit a party member. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know what? I wouldn't blame him. I saw nothing. You know, for her own safety. Man. You guys yeah. just don't get it. <laughs> okay. Well, I have 18 shuriken that do one damage. I think that'll be all right. And you'll probably miss with at least three quarters of them. So, if you're not comfortable going on the lake, then let's walk it. Let's walk around the perimeter and not split up again. It'll take us 40 minutes. And I can navigate us through. That's yeah. the only other option we have. Yeah, we'll do that while everyone else drowns. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Well, I, I, I can drown, it's okay. Th there's nothing I can do about that, Naga. There is literally nothing no, no, I can no. do. Hey, hey, hey. I, I agree. If I jump in the water, I'm drowning for sure. So. Right. Yeah. Let's see. You've got a person made of lead, essentially. Stone. St All right, fine. I... Stone. Well, metals. You're also well, okay. made of metals. So, so Ruka is like stone, right? But he's yeah. got some tinder boxes. So wouldn't that make him a little lighter? Boo. <laughs> Boo. That one was so bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. No, sir. No. I, I, might actually this, I see what this night has become. Um, <laughs> uh, painful. Yeah. But painful. I mean, yes. Yeah. That physically yeah. hurt me. All right. So <laughs> I'll start to look for a path along the shore that we can walk. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I'll make a nature roll. Nature. Yeah. Nature would be fine. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> fine. Fine. Um, so you do see a way that you could potentially walk uh, along the the edge of the island that you're currently on. Um, you do notice that there are two smaller riverways on either side of you um, leading from this lake. And they look like they go downhill a bit um, on the other side. Like they're they're rushing outward, not inward. Beyond this edge, you're not quite sure how to get over until you get over there, but you have a clear run to get there. And you do see a pathway on the other side that you could take, but you just don't know what's in between through the water. Because again, glass surface, mirrored, you can't really see through it, so you don't know how deep it is. Right. Am I able to kind of gauge a rough idea of how wide it is across from looking at it. What did we say the distance of this map was? I forget what, um, where's my measure? 400? Stuff. I think. Yes. Yeah. So each yeah. one of these little boxes is, so one hex is 0.3 miles. So you're going, it's probably Quarter, a little less than a quarter of a mile, give or take. It's pretty big, considering. So that there, there might be right here, yeah. This this hex right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just about half, give or take, of a full hex. However, you do see narrower parts further down this way that you could take potentially. Yeah, I see a narrow part that's probably going to be the easiest. Didn't add all that much time to cross over a little bit further down. It'd probably be easier to cross over further down as well. The only thing is the current, if it's running downhill, current might be quite strong. Potentially. You're not sure until you get there. And actually try to experience it or look at it more physically yeah all right so i'm going to turn to the to the party and go look we're gonna potentially have to cross a, a piece of water to get out of here 
whether it's the, the main lake itself or whether it's one of these side streams. I reckon if we head to our west, where there's only one that we have to cross, and I'm pretty certain there's, there's going to be an easier way to cross um, out, cross across the, the stream on the other side, because it is close to the village, so there's potentially a main road or something, may lead to a bridge, who knows. But, like, it's probably going to be easier on that side. So I reckon if we head west, we see what happens. The only thing is, I think we should take the boat with us. Because if we need to cross across the one of these streams, the boat is going to be the easiest way to do it. Now, I can carry it, but I need someone else to carry it with me. Naga's going to put a finger on his nose. Wait, what are we carrying? The boat. Arabelle copies Naga no. because she no, likes I'll it. Help out. So she just sits there with a finger on her nose. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Varric. I appreciate it. <laughs> You guys are going to say, so we're just going to leave him. <laughs> like, he can't get past it. Leave who? Us? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, the, uh... <clears throat> Hold on. I don't know what's what going on. Uh, if I was getting choked up. What, uh... What was this place called again? Why am I blanking on that? Barovia? The whole Barovia? area. Barovia. Barovia. So the Barovian swim team. <laughs> we're leaving them. Got it. Uh, okay. That's what we're calling them now. This is the new notebook. Rukar. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> the Barovian swim team. I, I don't like this any more than you do. I, I really don't. But if some of us aren't willing to go out on the lake... This is the only way we're going to get back to the main city. I, I, I can see a path. I can get us there. But I don't know what's going on. They're, they've been down there for 20 minutes now. Potentially longer. Right, so he's just going to walk over to the boat, grab onto it and say, well, let's go. All right. Just for reference, because I know I was drawing randomly, Naga, that's the pathway that you can see with your newly medicated self. Oh, eight. He's self medication not, is. No, you could definitely pick the boat up. It's pretty light wood. For you specifically, I think the two of you could definitely lift that boat and carry it. <laughs> it's like a balsa wood boat. <laughs> pretty much. It's pretty light. It's pretty, you know, consider like canoe-ish so it's not super super heavy it's thinner wood more bark rather than thick planks you can definitely lift it up yeah while you guys are traveling with said boat to the shore all right chat i'll be right back gonna follow Drac i'm gonna second. go to the bathroom i'll be right back okay just give you guys a break and also give them a little bit of uh screen time um Jack's had too much to drink. His screen's all blurry. Just saying. I, he is all blurry. He has turned into. <laughs> so I mean, that's kind of what he looks like in the water. So. <laughs> <laughs> My immersion. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jack X is somewhat towards the center of the lake. Um, in that center, from what Rogar can see and what Avery can see, and eventually Evanora is he's just essentially sinking straight down the center of the lake. Everything looked pretty surface level, like it pretty smooth and, and even until the center. Let me see if I can, can I do the thing? Yes. Till about right here. It's about 25 feet 
radius, I'm sorry, diameter, so all across, that just perfectly drops down into darkness. There's just like a hole in the middle of the lake. Oh, okay. Hmm. Drax is currently feet above the surface level of the bottom of the lake, and that's all you see from where your perspective is as he's sinking down. Do we see any movement from him? Howdy, chat. I'm back. No. No, his feet are pretty solid. Um, just kind of looks like he's gently falling. He's not like flailing, trying to swim, nothing like that. Nothing, nothing. His feet are not making, you know, flipper motions, nothing. He's just a sinking body at this point. Do we see anything around him? No, nothing. Nothing visible in in the just surrounding area at all, actually. That, um, that there's wave. a couple. <laughs> there's a couple of um, sunken burlap bags, um, some gold treasury-looking things, some gems that you see glinting, but oh. generally speaking, it's it's pretty empty and pretty sparse. It's it's almost smooth sand everywhere there's no real rocks or really anything minus some sacks i'm gonna do the thing i did last time i was like i'm going to web my fingers and my feet so i can swim faster okay bird frog person <laughs> Changeling. Well, you, you, did, you did notice the fingers last time, Naga. So. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Trust so, me. Yeah. There I are know there are notes thinking. being had. There are notes Avery, being had. Avery speeds past this at this point, right? Definitely, definitely can Dude. can make a bit. Well, yes, uh, to a degree. Yeah. I basically have flippers on now. Yeah. And we see this happen. Yes. You don't see it change, but you do see him kind of speed past you. Okay. I'm just really good at swimming. And also, Disguise Self is a good spell. <laughs> Bullshit. <Yeah. laughs> uh... So at this point, um, you guys are getting pretty close to this monstrosity of, of a gaping hole in the center of the lake. Um, Dracax is probably, I'm going to say, 10 or so feet ahead of Avery. Um, all you can see at this point is the bottoms of his feet because the rest of it's pitch black. What do you do when you get to the sides of this cavern, essentially, that drops down? It's just a pit in the middle. Um, there's no current pulling you at all. The three of you. Uh, Dracax is a totally separate story, but you three don't feel any any pull there's no current the water is still and it's just you going it's not thick it's not heavy nothing like you were feeling avery the last time whenever i catch up with drag x i want to try to like tap him to see if he's good okay roll out what, what are you thinking when you get to that point. Evan Oris has caught up to you at this point as well. Alrighty, chat. This is spicy. Me? Let's see what happens to the yeah. other half of the party. How long have we been in the water now? Probably two minutes. Maybe tops. Essentially, um, even though we just went through that whole thing with them, it's the same time frame. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, for sure. That kind of thing. So it, it's um, not very long. How so we have we've swam sort of diagonally right to this ca yes. uh, cavern okay yes so at this point knowing feeling that strain on my lungs I'm probably just gonna go straight up to take a breath okay um and maybe talk to I don't know if Evanora is gonna follow me if Evanora chooses to follow me then I'll talk with her quickly as we catch a breath uh to see how we want to move forward otherwise I'll make a decision Are you going to follow him, Evanora? Yeah. Okay. So you would both come to the surface easily. No harm done. Um, you can have a conversation if you would like. Avery, when you reach out to touch Drac, 
he does not respond to you. Shit. Um, I'm going to grab him and turn him so we're face to face. And I'm going to try to take, like, at least some of the air that I have left and, like, force it into his mouth. When you spin him around, he is 100% conscious. He looks at you, shakes his head, and continues to swim down. I'm going to look at him and look. What? And I guess I'm going to start swimming. <laughs> I'm going to start swimming up. Okay. What is the conversation you two are having? Um, I can't remember. Avador, were you there when we... Sorry, out of character for a second. Were you there when we were talking to Bluto about like that the, was so good. That was perfect yeah. timing. Oh, did I? Love okay. it. She was on the oh. other side. Got it. Absolutely so love I'm it. Basically, chat. gonna tell her, you know, what uh, we talked about with Bluto and how there's merfolk and how they're giving them gold and feeding the children to these merfolk in exchange for food. Uh, from what I can see with the glinting gold and the burlap sacks, this seems to be, in my opinion, probably their layer, for lack of a better word, uh, that Dracax is being dragged down into. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and you conversation. Yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> The entire time tonight, I can't handle it. <laughs> the entire time you're talking, Evanora is just staring at you with like furrowed brows, almost an annoyance, I would say. Um, and she's very sternly going to tell you, "That's not my problem right now. Where's Drax?" I mean, he's straight below us. We saw him, but I couldn't dive any deeper. I needed to take a breath, so. I am in 100% agreeance that we need to, to go down and, and get him. I just wanted to share that knowledge with you so you know what we're getting into. She's just going to nod, still browse furrowed, and keep going down. Beautiful. And I will follow. And Avery, in the process, has come up, I guess, for air. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Um, You hear part of this conversation as they're diving back down. I'm gonna go, come on. And I'm gonna take a deep <laughs> breath and I'm gonna go back after him. Beautiful. Wait, why are you taking a deep breath? Can't you grow gills? Yes. No. If okay. I did, they'd be purely um aesthetic. Cosmetic. Yeah, aesthetic, gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Drax, as you're going down. So this entire time that you've been diving, you haven't had a problem with breathing. You're not quite sure why, but it's almost as if the water is air to you. You have been following this current that's been pulling you pretty steadily, but not so hard because of your size and your stature that you couldn't fight it if you didn't want to. Following it along, following these other sacks that were thrown and just letting it take you you come to this pit and you follow it more. At this point, since they left you, you went an additional 25 feet and you're in what feels like a waterfall, just blistering speed down into I don't know what. What do you okay. do? Do I see anything? Around you, no. It looks like you're in the center of a very rapid waterfall. There's just water encasing you on every side. Got it. Um, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Um, Give me a strength check. Don't fail this one. Mm. Or fail it. Good. Um, you splash into what feels like another lake. Takes you a couple of seconds to really right yourself 
there's no current pulling you in any direction and you surface give me a perception check and how okay when you surface you're <sighs> at what looks like a normal lake but there is a 50 foot waterfall coming out of the middle of the ceiling there is no sky it's just rock formation around you is layers of rock pedestals and stairs and to one side is a an altar of sorts that has what looks like a mermaid statue made of maybe pearl and stone it's absolutely breathtaking and around that is a pool that's stoned in and inside that pool are three beautiful women humming a song to you i need to come closer Yeah, let, let, let's not do that. Okay. I, I think I'm smart enough to not fall for that. Beautiful. You've been underwater for Am a while. Am I not there? I would agree that you are smart enough to not go there. You are well aware of what this is. Because you've heard of it before. You've also heard of the marrow before. You've generally got a knowledge of, of merfolk and corruption. What do you do? There are places to step up. Like, you can get out of the water, not near them. Um, surrounding you would be two ways to step out, one to your right and one to your left, that lead to separate caverns and walkways within the stone. Um... And they look like they just have like layers of different stonework that you could walk through um, that is completely away from where they are. But they are watching you and still singing. I'm, um, uh, I'm gonna go towards the right. Okay. When you get out of the water, you don't even feel wet. Like, your, your, your skin, everything's pretty dry. Your clothing is a little damp maybe, but you physically don't feel like you were even in water. Looking around a little bit deeper into the cavern that's to the right, it's lit up pretty well, um, both with um, braziers of, of, of different kinds of metals, all different kinds of color flames. Deeper in, you hear multiple people talking and you can see almost like a a dining room of sorts. There's a couple of tables, some chairs. It's a pretty warm feeling too. Do I understand anything that, that people are saying? Uh, they're generally just having conversation, nothing super specific there's nothing evil it's more of just how are you how's the family it's like people just living their lives a couple of younger voices nothing super loud um there's no abrasiveness it's just gentle calming you're not in any sense of fear or worry uh, i'm gonna keep walking in then okay while you're walking in, Avery, Evanora, and Rogar all experience the same thing. You make it to the bottom of this dark pit of waterfall and land. Can each of you make a strength check? Oh, God. Beautiful. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I am... Unless this is works in opposites, then I'm screwed. Beautiful. Did you oh, actually Evanora. sprain your ankle? <laughs> Evanora, you stand up perfectly fine. And you oh, no. hear these women singing. 
you don't really care. You're specifically looking for Drax. You don't want to know anything about anybody else. And you're scanning the room and you do spot him almost immediately. I'm assuming by the, the information here is that you go straight to him rather than pay attention to anything else. Question mark. Mm, I would say yes, but I'm still approaching him cautiously. Okay. Um, I did like take in what Rogar was telling me, so I'm cautious of my surroundings, but my goal is to get Dracax and the rest of our party down here and leave. Okay, perfect. Rogar and Avery, however, when you land, you wind up about 10 feet closer to these three singing women than Ethanora and Dracax had. Their singing is quite strong. You feel really drawn to them. Can you each roll an intelligence save? Oh. Oh. I hope you like that sword while it lasted. <laughs> you don't <live> the boy. <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. Let it be known that he said that he wasn't down here when you mentioned the yep. three things. Yep. So yep, yep, yep. it's karma. It is karma. All right. Well, okay. by all, I, okay. Let's see how this plays out. Yeah, yeah. Play this out, uh, Avery. You can make a decision. Do you want to go to the singing women, or do you want to leave? I don't get a decision. No, so question, <laughs> question, question, question. You said they were attractive ladies, right? Very attractive ladies. Avery is going to do the thing where he licks his pinky in his thumb and he's going to slick his eyebrows to the, like from the center <laughs> out, and he's going to start walking towards them. Oh Beautiful. my gosh. <laughs> Uh, Absolutely bod doing, doing bod, bod things. That's, yeah, that's that's the Avery we know and love. Perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. Needed that. <laughs> Rogar, on the other hand, you just feel yourself being drawn right to them. You do see Evanora kind of walk off to the right a little bit, but at that point, she is no longer in your sight, and you are focused on these three women who, as you get closer, seem to get more attractive. And their singing gets more in tune to you. Almost uh -oh. as if they're singing your story. Same thing for you, Avery. Then you have a little bit more willpower at the moment, but you do hear that, that draw there. Uh, I'm gonna like nudge uh, uh, Rogo with my other guy. I'm gonna get the lady and I'm gonna like walk a little bit faster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think Rogar has control of his emotions right now. Not at the moment. No, he's. We do. It's just the answer is yes. The he'll have that. Yes. He'll have that. Uh, that's that smirk, just smiling, looking at the ladies. Yeah. Um, yeah. Almost. The thing both... is, is Avery has control. He just has no self control. Um, <laughs> he has no choice. Control of his faculties right now. Yes. Yeah. Evanora, do you see? This is your opinion and your want. If you want to, do you see what's going on? I would assume I do. But do you want to? Do I want yeah, to this, see them? Yeah. This is your <laughs> your moral point of Drac is ahead of you. And your other party members are now walking to Merfolk that you've never seen nor understand. And according to what Rogar was telling you, they are highly dangerous. Does Dracax look safe? Yeah. In his current he looks, state. He looks like an inquisitive Drax just walking around, kind of sightseeing. Wait, do, do, do the pretty off. do the pretty women okay. look like Merfolk? Maybe. <laughs> to her, yes. To them, okay. no. Gotcha. Okay, and my other like party members are just like straight up like, like yo, dogs being dragged. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, one hundred. Cool, cool. Uh, wow. Evanor is gonna do one of those like back and forth and just go, and then turn to Rogar and Avery. Okay, 
in the hopes to like literally like a back of collar yank them. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I all while think... she's like cursing under her breath about like <laughs> men are so stupid and driven by <laughs> women and like just going on like the most like feminist rant under her breath. Oh, like, man. I absolutely love it. Um, give me a charisma check. Oh God, please, <laughs> dandy gods, please, I beg. For the story, I beg. That one. Hey! Yeah. There it is! <laughs> Soon as <Thank> Evanora <laughs> lays her hands on either of you, you both get this quick snap of, whoa, this isn't real. And when you see her, you remember reality for just a split second. The oh, thing is gone. Is this because she's yeah. shining more than they are? Or this is <laughs> purely because Evanora is who she is to these two people. Otherwise, it would have been a different role. She has a very powerful role in their lives at this point, being slash mom slash approval. They like <laughs> her and they want her. It's sticking. To yeah. not be oh gosh. Disappointed in them that they remember who they are. I think she's already ended um, in us at this point. Yeah. They're pretty not that great. Yeah, disappointed. Between, if you are Mom snap out of it, it, like you turn to her and she's just staring there, just like, <laughs> yeah. really? I've yeah, raised exactly. you to be gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to turn to uh, Evan Noah. But whenever she's looking at us like that, I'm going to go, hey, I'm sorry, but you know the saying, any port in a storm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> she rolls her eyes like the most like over exaggerated eye roll on the planet. The the um Robert, uh, Robert Downey Jr. eye roll, the gif, that one, yeah. that's her that's face. I, that one is my favorite one. Mm -hmm. I said that to all. Sheesh. Rogar is gonna look at over at Evanora and just shake his head and be like, "I don't know what just came over me." You're a man. Yeah. That's all she says. No. And she'll turn around. <laughs> no, there, there was, there was something more. Like I did, I didn't have control. Under her breath, very quietly, she's like, "That's what they all say about boobs." I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love her so much. She's so. so uh, whenever to Rogar fill everyone up, in chat uh, in, go, it's a siren song. My <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wow, Rogas. I can't. Uh, <laughs> is very confused right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, fucking bloody Avery siren does, songs. Avery does like the the call yeah. me hand gesture to them. Oh my god. Don't <laughs> give him yep, ideas. Yep. Don't give him ideas. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what happens. Oh he puts his thumb to his ear and his pinky to his mouth and he's just gonna mouth. Like call me, but I don't know. Avery, uh, when you, do you have to do bad. like would you have to do like a bird single or something? They don't have cell phones back then, dude. Like, <laughs> like a piece of paper in my hand, and I'm like, "Carrier pigeon, carrier <laughs> pigeon, carrier pigeon." He does it. Does he do this or this? Um, I'm gonna like okay. Instead of that, I'm gonna turn my <laughs> left hand sideways as if it's a piece of paper, and right, and just go. Yes. <laughs> However, Avery, when you do turn around and you look back, they are not beautiful by any stretch of the word. They are mid sentence. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they are amphibious or people of sorts. They're not the typical mermaid that you would think or know of. They look more like fish on top that you can see because you can't see their bottom half in this stone pool that they're laying in but they have turn. gills <laughs> they have their full amphibian look from the upper quarters i want to turn around and give evanora a look best. like i'm sorry what the <laughs> fuck was that she got it and gives you a look of just like Hello? Uh, he's he's going to run over and grab her and start hugging her. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just like head pats you. 
he, he like turns around. He's like, call me. Uh. <laughs> Shesh. That's his head back Sheesh. around. And he's like, see you later. <laughs> I love it. So you guys start Never to mind. head off to where you last saw Jack. And as you're heading over there, Jack is stopped at the entrance of what looks like a dining room. Um, there's people talking in the background, mostly just banter. Um, you hear some children's voices. Not really many post pubescent voices, as far as you can tell. They're very high pitch. And Drax is standing there pretty much awestruck. As you get closer to him, you all see what he sees. And in this room is several long tables, each lit with several candles, and a few dozen chairs, all filled with children. Uh. Talking and looking like they're eating dinner. Well stuffed. None of them emaciated like Aravel was, the girl that was above water. None of them emaciated nearly as much as the children in the town that you were just staying in. All well taken care of. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I was thinking the same thing. It's yeah, too crap. Yeah. just dreamy little kids. I don't like it. In the far corner of the room, on the opposite side as you guys are, is a doorway that's uh, partially open. Um, and inside there that you can see looks like a kitchen of sorts um, with several adults, human adults, uh, cooking. Um, it looks like they're bustling around the kitchen pretty well. I mean, it doesn't look like they're doing nothing and they're obviously feeding some plentiful fish to the children. So what would you guys like to do? Like the kids don't seem to start by me just standing there. Right? Not even a little bit. They don't even pay attention to your existence. Right, I'm gonna keep walking towards the door. Okay. Is everyone following him? Do you? Better yet, have you alerted him that you are behind him yet? I would have. Yeah. Okay. And if I'm also following him. Thank you. If is there any oh. conversation that you'd like to have before he starts walking to the door? You're more than welcome to do that now. Um. Clean pastry. Yeah. <laughs> because I told you. <laughs> Evanor is going to quietly just say, "Care, Drac Axe." Yes. And she'll kind of like nudge towards like continuing as a sense of like, you know, like be careful, like. like... Okay. I'm, I'm just nod and keep on walking. Okay. So the I, four I, of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I'm, I'm, I feel like whenever I turn around, she's holding freaking Rogar and, and Avery by the ears. <laughs> pretty much. I'm like, Ro like pretty Rogar is pretty much like. <laughs> Head they down. Are, they are shame. humans at the mm. moment. Um, well, partial humans anyway. Um, yeah, they're they're pretty defeated. Heads down, kind of tail between their legs, walking like shortly behind her. Like mm -hmm. mom yelled at mm -hmm. us. Um, yeah, I could totally see that happening. Uh, yeah. So since Rogar didn't have any control, it was like fully entranced. He's just gonna like be looking back at like the mer folk women looking mm -hmm. at like Evanora and like head sort of down just like in shame of like what just happened yeah and very confused as to what just very happened. very confused <laughs> yeah and I would imagine slightly disappointed in himself because of the lack of being able to control himself in that situation and not really understanding what the situation was 
as you approach mm -hmm. it. Yeah, okay. exactly. In, in my opinion, that's what kind of yeah, what I that, would No, that's pretty much exactly on. So as you guys make your way through this dining hall, um, most of the children seem to be happy. They are just eating. They seem nicely colored. They're not, you know, super pale from being underground forever, that kind of thing. Um, and some of them look dingier than others, uh, just a bit more worn. Clothing is not so great. Um, these ages seem to range from just walking toddler to preteen. And on the far, far side, closest to the kitchen, is a smaller table that has a few teenagers sitting at it. Very few. Um, four total. And in the kitchen, you can visibly see two early 20s, just hit adulthood, that kind of thing, working. Um, and it looks like perhaps there may be more. Do you guys enter the kitchen or do you just go to the door? Um, uh, I'm going to knock really hard on the door while pushing it open. Lovely. You startle the two adults that you see. Um, one drops a plate of food that, that she was working on, and the other, a male, is holding a frying pan and swings to you and holds the spatula out. <laughs> Rather startled, that's all they have <laughs> on them. As far as you can tell, there is not a weapon here at all. Not one. There's not even knives. Okay. I'm, uh... I, 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 he, they, the frying pan and, and spatula didn't reach me, right? No, he's just aimed at you with them. Like, not... There's no... He didn't move at all. He's probably, like, ten feet ahead of you on the other side of a table um, that they would be preparing on. <clears throat> Behind him is what looks like a makeshift stove that has a fire burning, um, possibly just where he was cooking. All right, I'm, uh, you know, like, like last time in, inside of the, the freaking uh, Citadel, Let, let's bring out the nice. <laughs> oh, tone down the, the chaos a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We're gonna leave the chaos kind of at the top of the waterfall. Okay. Jack so, Jack is like yeah. just kids around. Just it, yeah. it's that, that that little you know bipolar mood. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Great. We have we have a bipolar dragon boy. Beautiful. <laughs> what could beautiful. possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong. <laughs> um. Shade. I'm making really notes. Give me a second. <clears throat> bipolar. Okay. <laughs> Not because we were like, I know I'm not there, but. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm, I'm Based on like, you know, observations. I'm going to put on a, a, you know, pull up one of my hands and be like, oh, hold, hold, hold on. You know, I'm, I'm sorry for starting you guys, but, you know, I'm wondering how the hell do you guys get down here? Just say sorry. What the hell? <laughs> the, the girl who looks at you and she kind of gets. We all mad. looked at really strangely. Like, did yeah, you just right? say sorry? What? <laughs> You can tell that she gets mad, but not at you necessarily. She starts grumbling to herself about dropping the food and having to start over again. And she bends down and she's completely ignoring your existence while she's picking up several dishes, a bunch of food that fell and sort of cleaning up the floor. This place looks spotless. The stone, it does everything. There's not a sense of dirt anywhere. And the boy, well, man, I guess, since he's early 20s, give or take, looks at you and goes, how did you get down here? Uh, I just fell out of the water. The waterfall. Oh, they didn't take you down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, well, we were given to the marrow as, as trade for food. But we keep the food anyway, and, well, we have a bunch of children, so we're taking care of them. That's why we're here, but why are you here? Well, uh, I, uh, I decided to follow some bags that 
some guy threw him into the water. Are there more children? And he looks no. startled almost. Like there's bags, so there's children, right? Mm, uh, sadly, no. I, the bags that. Did, did I, I ever figure out where they were kids or not? No, the you, you, no, you didn't. You totally lost sight of them. Okay. In the darkness of the waterfall, they were gone. From my knowledge, no, I, I, I didn't see any more kids or any. Besides, I point back at the, the table, the one behind me. Oh. And he looks disappointed, um, but okay with it, I suppose. This seems to be normal to him. And he goes, I have to finish dinner. And he turns around. And he's like, do you need help with something? And he just starts cooking again. He seems really taken back by your appearance and that there are adults here that are not merfolk or something cascading as a merfolk. Uh, he's not really sure how to behave around you. You can you can tell that he's a bit standoffish. The girl is completely ignoring your existence still. She doesn't care. No adults here. She yeah, no. <laughs> there is no adults here that you have seen yet minus these two in their early 20s. Uh, I and the, like the merfolk. Him, I, I would like to ask him where, uh, you know, the, the, the merfolk are supposed to be at, besides the, the three ugly-ass mermaids. <laughs> oh, the, you could ignore them. They're just sirens. They're on the other side. You just, instead of turning this way, just go straight across the water. They're on the other side. There's a, a pathway behind the waterfall. <laughs> uh, of course. That wouldn't really hang out over there too much though they're weird okay it's uh is there a way out up here not that i've seen unless you can figure out how to swim upstream got it but why would we leave anyway it's it's nice down here we have food i mean i'm just asking in, in reference to myself i'm i could care less what happened to you guys fair no I, you could ask them. You could go, I guess. Maybe. All right. I, I'll turn around, looking at the the, the, the guys and of Anora. I'm like, you guys heard them? Uh, she nods. I guess. I, I guess we go across the <laughs> across the lake. Either they tell us how to get out of here, or uh, we beat the crap out of them. <laughs> Very true. That the girl says, "Don't do that," because the other children that come down here won't make it to us, and we can't save them. Uh. Yeah. Well, obviously, she I, is I, I, I like don't right know. There. I yeah, don't no, know she's if... telling you, like, no, I, don't I, do I was that. gonna say, I, I was gonna say, I, I don't know if. Uh, me personally like in character know that th th this two dumbasses stop bluto no yeah you wouldn't know you would know nothing at that point uh, i will look at rogar and avery considering that the last thing that i remember was avery lying off and rogar yeah. on the boat uh yeah. will you guys like to elaborate as to what happened up there yeah, uh, we caught him and tied him up, and he's waiting up top for us right now. Okay, so there's no more sacrifices. Is that what you're saying? Mm. Yep. Cool. Did I right see Pluto there before I dove down? You saw... No, you did not see Pluto there, because that Altharian, by the time you guys, you dove and Altharian made it to shore, Pluto was already long gone. Okay, so not then Evanor is going to it. speak up and be like, he's not up there. Ma Rogar Bucker. Rogar's gonna be like, what do you mean? Like, we just uh, we were just talking to him. We left him tied up right there with Naga. You're I'm supposed to gonna... tell mom. What the heck? <laughs> 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 now you got both parents on the case. <laughs> oh my god. And here comes um... Evanor's notepad. Wait, wait. Tell me more. <laughs> yeah, right. Here. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just hearing that, the first thing that that, that I do is literally facepalm, and just 
the, the, the thing that crosses through my head is like either someone screwed up or someone got help up there. So yeah, let's go find a way out of here. And and for some reason, I'm I'm freaking smiling. Oh god. <laughs> Rogar is gonna. <laughs> no, 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 gonna no. look over to the two individuals um, and just be like, "Are there any more sirens on the other side of the lake?" And the girl looks at you and she goes, "You don't have to worry about them. Just don't go near them. You'll be fine." Yeah. Fifteen feet away. Stay fifteen feet away. Social distance, six feet. Okay. Wow, they have like COVID twenty. <laughs> they have COVID-22, bitch. You better stay 15 feet away, not six. All right? Wow. Um, <laughs> look. Wear a blindfold the, instead of a mask. Yeah, exactly. So the only exit from what I've gained, gathered is up the waterfall we came. Three-fourths of us can fly. There? Yes. Three-fourths of us can fly. So I don't think that's really an issue. Yeah, we've got one sinking dragon <laughs> one who can kind of fly um yeah a changeling and a heavenly evanora uh, I, I hear <laughs> that i just look at the uh, uh avery i'm like what are you talking about who can fly three fourths I, I can fly you can fly she can fly we can all fly home skillet i can't <laughs> fly Poor Rogar is like all sad in the corner. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to live down here forever. Uh, uh, Somebody carry me? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. I was going to plan on carrying you up. If right, you had the strength right. to carry him. I do. You, you might need more than one person. I'm a, a little bit heavy. Yeah. I'm laying on those dream pastries a little too heavy lately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to start walking while, while they're t talking about dream pastries and flying. I'm just going to walk across, like, start walking back to where we started. Okay. You continue to walk through the kids. And you're noticing some familiar faces. Faces you've seen running around the town. Just in the last two days that you've been here. Mother freaking fly is leaving. Um question. Yes. Do I notice the girl? Which girl? Damia. Investigation. Yes. You see her in the corner by the teenage table. She's face down in a huge bowl of fish. Uh, there's no vegetables to be seen. It's just different kinds of fish. And she's loving it. Okay. Rather than going back to where we started, I'm going to beeline towards her. Okay. And I'm going to pat her on the shoulder. She stops eating it in one of those motions where her face was like two inches away from the dish. She, had, she was shoveling food into her mouth. As she stops mid-chew, and the fork is just about to hit her mouth, and she kind of looks up without moving. And when she sees you, she kind of gets excited, but weary. And she puts her, her the fork down, and she looks at you, and she goes, How did you get down here? She goes, Isn't this amazing? I haven't seen this much food in my entire life. I was going to actually ask you, how did you get down here? Your, your your dad is uh is that her dad is looking for? Her? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, Stanimir. Stanimir is looking for you. He's kind of been going a little bit crazy. Oh, well, when you guys left, we, the village was attacked, um, and I don't really remember very much, but people were yelling and screaming, and suddenly it went dark, and next I knew I was floating through water, and I woke up down here. And they let me take a bath, and I've been getting all this food, and it's amazing. And we don't really see anybody other than the kids, so it's been kind of fun to see people that I haven't seen in a really long time. Like that little boy right there, he's been gone for like six months. I'm, I'm like nodding while listening to her. 
she has not stopped talking the entire time since that question was asked. She's pointing out kids that have mis been missing for what seems like years. Um, a couple of the teenagers have been gone since well before she was even born. There's the two adults in the kitchen are the original children that were traded who have been down here for close to 19 years. And God. they've been feeding and taking care of all of the new children that come through. According to not what she heard, they're all aging. Everybody is aging okay. like normal. Um, but according to her, not one of the children that are being quote unquote sacrificed are actually being eaten. Okay. They are brought down here and they grow up. Once they become an adult, she has no idea what happens. Gotcha. I'm a, you know, a, a, a unlikely of my character. I'm going to pat her in the head and ask her if she wants to return to her family or if she wants to stay down here. Get to eat down here. So if I can eat up there, fine, but I'm going to stay down here for now. Okay. Dressing. You can tell them where I am, but I don't really want to leave, so they can't meet me. All right. Understood. I mean, if we, uh, you know, as long as you're safe, I will let them know where you're at. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it, it's up to, to your dad to this decide is if he wants to. Out, out of character, I'll, uh, I, I'm actually quite happy to find out this information. Here. That's okay, though. Because, because then I get to eat down it's going to make Althara in a, a bit more at ease. All starving. So I'm going to keep eating and I can see them whenever I want. Remember? And she claps her hands and the green fire shows up and she sees exactly where everyone is. Okay. Did Rokar hear all this? The entire story, yes. Okay. Back to you then? Yeah. Um, okay. I'm, I'm perfectly, you know, content with what she's saying. She and... seems so much healthier she's sprightly she's excitable she's talking a lot much more than you experienced her talking prior and when she does her magic no one looks as if it's not new to them and normal. several other kids around you see them doing weird things they're not normal like they're not just typical humans they all have some kind of ability something hmm. special and they tease each other with it one kid makes fire in his hands and he burns other people's food. <laughs> One makes water and puts it all out. Like they they make they you're watching this weird evolution go on and they seem happy. Like kids just being kids having fun and no one to really tell them otherwise. Hmm. But it changes but I initially want that. I, <laughs> the Xavier Institute, yes. I love it. Out of character, like, out, if once Altharian knows this, he's going to be so alleviated. But also, I'm, I am actually think that this is completely out of the realm itself in some regard. This possible. spot. Yeah, I reckon it's possibly um, out of the realm. Roger's just going to ask her, like, you said... When they, when the children grow up and become adults, that you don't see them anymore. Do you, like, is there a direction that the adults are taken? Have you seen sort of like where they go? Well, the kids aren't allowed to go on the other side of the lake, so I'm assuming that they go over there. I haven't been here long enough to see anybody leave, but I know that this table, the one that she's sitting at, uh, is about to get ready to start kitchen training. So I'm assuming that the guys in there and the guys and girls are going to be leaving soon. So I don't actually know. I'll find out though. I can let you know. And Rogar will just sort of nod his head and step back. Um, well, I'm certainly still angry that they were willing to sacrifice the kids, but I'm less upset. Uh, They're not being sure. eaten. I mean, are they really sacrifices? Well, they didn't know. They thought that that's what was happening. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter if your that your actions cause good if your tents were evil. 
Um, <laughs> the ends uh, don't justify I, the means. I, I guess after since we're done talking to her, shall we proceed with your renal plan and head over to the other side to try to get out of here? Yeah, we should probably leave. Yeah. All right. Oh. On the surface, you guys may get to the water edge with the boat. All right. What would you guys like to do? How far oh. across is it? It's about 40 feet wide. But just generally looking around, it looks like it could be shallow. I'm going to turn... Down further, when you, if you were to look like if you're facing the lake here... Uh, Sorry, if you're facing away and you're, hey, give me the right thing. You're say mm. here-ish, right? The, the the narrow side. Um, straight across on this side is where it's the forty-five feet. A bit further down is where that big old clearing is that now you can see. Mm -hmm. Am I able to see that anything Nago that's there? Before. With your vision and your basic knowledge of the nature and your surroundings, yeah, you can see what looks like a hazed over building of sorts. Could be a tower, could be another bone grinder, not really sure. But there's a shadow pacing around parts of the open plain that looks human, um, but is walking incredibly erratic just in front of that building it doesn't look spooky um it doesn't look creepy it's pretty bright in that section um it just seems really out of place turn um first off uh i'll go naga have you still got that rod freezing but yes yes i do uh are you able freezing. to freezing it took me a minute to hear that <laughs> like, oh, what? Uh... yeah it took me a couple of seconds there mm -hmm. as as you ask naga this he's actually handling handing a bunch of those uh marbles he found uh to the to arabelle <laughs> love it she is taking every one of them very happily and playing with them too sort of like juggling them in her hand and catching them perfect it. how long is that immovable rod in length I'd say about average is six inches. Oh my god. You mean six foot. <laughs> oh, Smart ass. Uh, boys. <laughs> boys. I... Oh, oh, my god. oh boy. I actually no, let's see. Uh... Only six though? <laughs> That's average. <laughs> oh gosh. Up to ten feet, moving the fixed rod up to nope. Nope, I don't know, it doesn't say. To be honest. Okay. I mean, it was used as a tent pole, so I would assume yeah, it, it could be fairly large. Okay. Would and I'm currently using it as a staff, so yeah. yeah. As I click three times into the ground, actually. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> um, would you be able to use it to see how deep the water is here? I could try. Yeah. I mean, don't let it fully like. If, like, have a good strong grip on it, but don't let it go, like, more than, you know, halfway. If it's gone halfway, then it's, you know, we know it's too deep. I 
don't even know what you would roll for something like that. Would you have to? I don't think so. Really. I mean, worst case scenario, if something like starts tugging I mean, on the rod, I'd probably yeah, just activate it. it. Maybe charisma. Right, if you're using it as like a staff, like even like a walking stick, generally speaking, it would just be something you're using. So I don't think I would really make you roll for it, to be honest. If you want to jab it into the water to see just how deep it is, that's fine. Um, where you are and as tall as you are and as far as you could reach, it's probably about two feet that you hit ground. Okay. Oh, Evanora. <laughs> I love you. Shame! That's what I'm just saying. <laughs> You have to word things very carefully on Google, okay? Yeah, very yeah, carefully. You do. Yeah, you do. Yes. Yes. I'm not being weird. I'm not being weird. I'm not being weird. I'm not being weird. That's quote unquote. That's what you have to write. <laughs> I'm on a list somewhere for all the crap oh, that definitely. I Google. I am definitely on some kind of list for sure. I don't I remember there was earlier in this campaign, and I looked up how much blood a child holds. Yep. Yep, you did. Mm -hmm. uh, so, us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm on a list somewhere. So, oh. like, it, how much blood does a child have in their body versus an adult? I forgot why yeah. I looked it up, but I did, and that's now I, information. That I, I have. remember why we looked that up. Yep, I do remember actually, but I'm the DM and I can't tell you. You needed to know how many buckets to bring. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently. Oh, we were. Oh, I remember now. I remember now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Took good. a while. Sheesh. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So, what would you guys like to do? Well, I'd like to get off the subject of Naga's uh, movable rod. <laughs> have to stay on it for at least a minute or two. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so did, did, okay. we add, did we actually no, ascertain okay. how deep the uh yeah, the river actually is as far out as he could comfortably reach <laughs> yeah. is two feet. two feet just about two feet yeah okay is the current strong or anything like that no it doesn't feel like it okay all right so i'm gonna turn to the party and go look it seems that we could potentially walk across here. Naga, how tall are you? Uh, four feet. And Balathol? Four six. Okay. Four, six. Now, Balathol and, and Naga, Balathol, it's... Sorry, Rukar. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. You know, you know what I mean? Naga <laughs> and Rukar, it, it's gonna come up about halfway on you. Uh, uh, close halfway for you, Naga. It's just shy of halfway for you, Ruka. I can't with this conversation. I think about a phrasing. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying my best to describe this, okay? I know. I know. Yeah. It's so good. It's, you're doing a great job, Scotty. It's us, not you, okay? <laughs> it's most me, you. not you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We just all have our minds in the gutter. It's okay. You keep doing you, man. My gutter's in the bottom of the well. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I'll go... Naga, do you mind passing me the immovable rod? I will step where you held it out to in the water, and then I'll see the next <laughs> instance I can't of how either deep. of them right now. You're killing me! <laughs> oh my gosh. You got just giggled and Hitler over here. Um, so mm -hmm. Naga will say yes, yeah, so long as you take care of it and give it back. I will. Sorry. And he will <laughs> he'll pull it out of the river and give it to you. And I will <clears throat> grab the... Uh, after he's passed... Oh my gosh, there's no... Oh... <laughs> Altharian's going to grasp it with two hands. Oh, oh, my <laughs> this has gone out of control now. Dear Get Lord. your minds out of the gutter! 
Like, come on! <laughs> okay. So, Altharion is going to accept the past rod to him, and he's going to step into the water where the, the rod was previously placed, and he's going to outstretch his hands, and he's going to place down with two hands into the river to see how deep it is for the next step. Hmm. How tall when is Arabelle? When you reach out, uh, Arabelle's about four foot. She's about your height. She's okay. a little bit shorter. As you reach out and you try to press it down, your hand goes below the water. And then I instinctively pull it right back up. I step back out of the water, pass it back to Naga, and I go, good thing we brought the boat. <laughs> It is a good thing you brought the boat. How do you want to get across with the boat, considering there are so many of you? Hmm. Did I, um, whilst I had the rod in the water and my hands were actually in the water, did I feel any current at all as well? No. Okay. Nothing. It's pretty still, considering in the, the hill that you're on looks like it kind of goes slightly downward, but you can actually see where the water stops. Yeah, okay. So it kind of just trickles off and is gone. So it's not really moving super heavily. The The hill is not very large. Yeah. But it's pretty deep where you are. And I'll go, look, we can send three of us across. Then one comes back and grabs the other two. Or... We can walk. This is like, this is like the cabbage, fox, and rabbit yes, riddle. Yes, but okay. simpler. <laughs> yeah, because no one's gonna eat each other. Exactly. Okay. Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh man. So, do we want to cross the river, or do we want to walk down towards this shadowy figure? Now, I, I also full well know that that could actually be the mage. as well oh we could go ask i mean i i'm i'm not gonna like i i'd rather put this to a vote and have the majority do what we want and, and have the majority make the decision here so but i'm also cognizant of time still because we need to meet van richten So, who wants to go across the river in the boat? Raise your hand. Uh, um, so, Rukar is going to drag you all to the town, kicking and screaming if he has to. <laughs> because he's already lost half of the party in his mind, and yeah. he's not losing a single person more. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, that's fine. Oh. Like, I... I'm more saying like, we're, like water. that's why I'm saying we stick together we do one thing or the other thing but not split up again that's more my point it's like the majority makes the decision here not oh some of us will go here some of us will go there no it's like we'll all go here or we'll all go there type thing and Altharion will explain that Ruka is just saying that if you want to go to the mage tower you're gonna have to go through him okay well anyone else got any other thoughts <laughs> little theory is just like fuck me got it <laughs> <laughs> try to get try to get several Nobody things done that I can't and... say a whole lot of handling rod uh, I'm, pu <laughs> yes, I'm putting a, a gift in general that is not good I was just gonna say you guys are too busy playing with rods and dinghies I'm not uh... <laughs> I don't know the underwater mermaid siren dead looking a whole lot more oh. friendly right about now <laughs> <laughs> that's Naga right now 
these fans. Yeah, I want through cards. I want through cards. Like, you, you all have to go through me. He's gonna be like, uh. <laughs> nope. All right, let's just cross the river, and we'll cross on the boat. We'll worry about the ma the, the potential mage later. Let's let's just get back. So yeah, I think that makes more sense. Arabelle just wants to get home anyway. So. Exactly. So right now we need because there's what there's five of us so we need two people to stay on this side and three to go across we need someone who is strong enough to row not just there but back and potentially there again depending on who goes now i'm happy to be the one to row but i i here's here's what i'm suggesting that we do in this case Rukar and Varric, you you two first go across and secure that area. I then come back and grab Karak, Naga, and Arabelle. That way, Arabelle and Naga, like Naga and Ka uh, Karak can protect Arabelle, whilst you two secure the other side, and then we all come across. How does that sound? Agreed. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Kind of sounds like we're splitting the party again. Man. <laughs> to, it's saying. to get across the river. <laughs> we're I not mean, splitting the party. Okay, we're going to split the party. the party. We're going into thirds here. And I also want to point out we're, we're splitting the party to go in the same body of water. That sucked up the rest of the party. <laughs> yeah, this is so like we're uh, not more, more He'll be all right. <laughs> Oh my so, god! Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. So, <laughs> so at this point in juncture, Arabelle is completely against getting into the boat. One thousand percent. She actually starts backing away from you guys so far that she's into the woods. Oh no! I don't like that. No, I guess going to follow her. Rogar, stop it. Look, the two of you up there, with you both of your R's, there is no putting a sack on this poor child. Uh, I chaotic voice. To be hey. made. Oh, that was... <laughs> you guys can see that chat, my bad. Yes, 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 yes. we can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Um, sacrifices need to be made. Leave her behind. I... I mean, we don't have to put her in a, in a sack. I have. Oh, well, y'all are willing to beat up the guy who's sacrificing the chick, and then once she's like, you know, I'm scared. They're like, yeah, right. All right, we're just gonna make you do it anyway. Yeah, exactly. Beat on the kid. So she is backing away fairly rapidly. Um, Naga, I know you just said that you're gonna follow her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll also go, Arabelle. Wait. She pauses. But she's still kind of in motion. Not as quickly. Okay. Just, we want to get you back to your family. This is the only, one of the only ways that we can do it. I understand why you don't want to cross over the water. It's only 40 feet across. But you don't know what's in there. And she just bolts in the other direction. Now, mind you. She still has all of these stupid marbles in her hand. Thank you, Naga. And she's dropping them as she's running. No! Uh, not my marbles! One, one at a time. So just kind of falling oh. into her hands. Pablo Coran. She's out of sight. The forest here is very dense and it's very dark. What do you guys want to do? She's get nimble, don't forget. She get the book. God damn it. Well, you don't have anything to bring back to the city other than going to see Van Richten, who is not in the city. So okay. That is saying, true, Game on Steve. There is no time and only actions. Actions that have consequences, actions well, you get away with. Hundred yeah. percent. I mean, yes, oh, Rukar wants to get in the boat. So. <laughs> I'll take it. Marked. <laughs> Again, not a party member. So. Yeah, not, no, I don't care. <laughs> and I mean, I don't yeah, really care Rukar has already stated very clearly that there will be no more party members. Just look, if, if, she, if I, 
I I hate this entire lake in in character like out of character. Pretty much, game on Steve. Naga's nightmare. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. he's gonna take off for Naga and and yell after her. Okay. All right, Naga. Back, I'll even say like y'all y'all go cross the river. I'll get her, and I run after her. Just trying to help. I mean, can we shoot Naga in the knee? <laughs> no, I'm not no. gonna shoot a party member. I, I for what it's worth, for what it's worth, I'm a monk. Yeah, Monks he's have gone, deflect right? arrows. Yeah, he is. He is poof. But into you're the running lake, away from us. Yeah. yeah. Not only can he catch them, he can also send them back with the same exact speed. I'm okay, okay. with that. No. However, they are into the darkness. Naga, you don't have dark vision of any kind, right? I do. Nah, I'm just I'm just the peoples. You're just the peoples, right. Okay. I'm just making mental notes. Vanilla human. Yeah. No we... bird people. No. No bird, no no frog. No, are... no frog. No we... dragon tail. <laughs> no angel <laughs> charisma. Oh, fair. Altharian's <laughs> gonna go. All of his resentment is coming out in these woods. <laughs> You're the real side All of these Naga secrets right now. people don't tell Naga. Yeah. <laughs> and just. Altharian's just beside himself. He's just like. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Dad's over here like, family's in shambles. <laughs> he's, having, he's literally having a nervous breakdown right now. Yeah, he is. 100%. Yeah, he's losing it. Now... If you need me to roll for a sanity thing, but just tell me. Not yet. But okay. soon, yes. Um, um, <laughs> what... Carrick... Well, and Varric, both of the, the Ix. What do you both want to be doing in this case? Look, I've got two R's and I've got two X, okay? So we have problems. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um. Ah, oh, chat. This is like even as myself, like I'm uh, so like ah oh, frustrated. Like I, that's how I actually feel. Like, and, and that's how I tell I'm getting in character, because that's how I feel. I feel very frustrated for this situation because I'm just trying to help the kid. Well, no, honestly, Garrick doesn't want to do anything because no option sounds very good right now. Yeah. That's fair. No option is definitely an option. Yeah, I mean, I got nothing. Okay. So I you're essentially don't think... both just waiting out to see what everyone yeah. else is doing before really making a decision? Right. Okay. Derek okay. certainly doesn't think it's a good idea to still go across while Naga goes after her by himself. That's even worse about splitting up the, the group, so. But there's no way we're gonna catch them. Oh no. I'm not I'm not saying that. It, I mean we're already splitting even off of that, but it'd be even worse to be across the body of water. You guys mightn't be able to catch them, but I could. Will you? Okay. Is Carrick aware that it's extremely it. dark in there? Like, can, can we, I can see. see. Where um, you can see a bit further into the woods. Anybody with dark vision can see a bit further. Um, but after that, it becomes pretty dark. There's moments of semi light that that seem to be kind of sprinkling through, but it is pretty dense, and and the tree gaps are pretty tight. It seems. You can kind of navigate. Anybody who's proficient, like like Scotty, well, Atherian, for example, would probably make it through at normal speed. My improved vision wouldn't help me in that sense. Um, I mean, you could see, but it would still be navigating and not getting lost. I've got extended dark vision range because of gloom, being a gloom walker, so I can actually see yeah. a bit further than what even uh, Carrot can. Um, I have superior dark vision. 
Yeah, the Car oh, uh, Carrick is 100% not afraid of the dark. He <laughs> thrives in the dark. I am the dark. <laughs> yeah. So it's one of those things where you guys are going to... You'll be sort of even between the navigation ability of Eltharian and the ability to navigate darkness the way Carrick can. It would kind of go together. Um... But it's still, you know, it would it would still take a few rolls to locate them. At this point, they could be anywhere. Well, then, Carrick says, let's like, grab her ride. The whole way she would go, and hopefully, Naga was behind her. Yeah, you are fast as fuck. <laughs> I mean, he's a monk. Did so. did I notice she was dropping her marbles as she yeah. was running? Yeah, you could you could see them visibly. I mean, no, I'll turn the party and go. She's dropped a trail for us to at least start with. If Naga catches up, he may actually stop her. So if he does, then we've got a chance to catch up, but we've got to move now. Yeah, let's grab our rods and go. Yeah, but we'll we'll leave the boat here, up against some of the trees, away from the shore. Uh, and yeah, start making our way through, following the trail that was left. Sounds good. They will no longer be so very funny. Naga, you do find Arabelle. It takes you a good five to ten minutes to really track her down, but she's stopped. The clearing that you saw earlier, she's sitting in the middle of it at what looks like a campfire. Is this by she's the just tower? sitting there. Um, close enough that you can see it pretty visibly. But you're not, like, right on top of it. You probably got a good half a mile between you and the tower. You're just outside of the tree edge, but still in like an alcove. And there's a little campfire in the center and it's pretty bright and it's warm. This campfire has made it, you're almost sweating just being in the vicinity of it. And she's just sitting right at the edge, staring into the fire. Still kind of holding a small handful of marbles. Is, is the fire green? You don't know yet. When is the fire enough. green? What did you say, Nada? Is the fire green? No. The fire okay. looks like normal fire. Is, there's no one else around, though? Not that you can find, no. You do see that shadow pacing outside of this tower um, erratically in the front of it um, but it's too hard to make out any kind of being it might be looks human like but that's the closest thing that you can see to another person I don't like pacing shadows that's like one of Naga's nine fears um... <laughs> we got a bunch <laughs> of head shakers <laughs> do it you won't <laughs> uh, I'm, just going, I'm just going to ask Arabelle, like, you know, hey, wh what are you doing? I, I don't want to go in the water at all, ever. This uh, is hey. So I stopped. And it was pretty. And she's still staring at the fire. She's not looking around. She knows you're there. But she's not making any attempt to leave this fire. Oh, this chat has gone out of the realm. I'm just saying. Ah. I was gonna do you guys. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna make another call. Ah. <laughs> uh so i'm gonna sit down with her at the fire and be like okay i i don't want to go in the water either for what it's worth 
but I don't know any other way to get you back home. Do you know a way where we wouldn't have to cross water to get back home? She points at the tower. She's like, there's no water over there, so there's got to be a way around the edge of the water. Yeah, but there's a pacing, shadowy, weird guy. Um, we don't have to go all the way there, I guess. Or I could just stay here. I have food now. And she kind of like opens up her jacket a little bit and, and shows you all the food that you gave her. And it's just like jammed in there. Can I tell if the river ends at all? Uh, not from where I am. an investigation, and I could kind of see where you are. I'm not smart, so we'll see. Uh, you can see the water still, but it's super little. Like, there's, it's not a very large gap next to you that you can see. Um, there's water, but not anything by the tower that you can tell. It kind of like becomes one piece of land and you're not really sure if there's water over there or not. But it potentially should end at some point or there should be some kind of way to get over it in your mind. Are you saying you're going to put her in a backpack, Rukar? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, we're on the same page here. <laughs> okay. One track mind. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair. Um, yeah, so I'll just tell her, I mean, we, we can't stay here for forever. I'm glad that you have food and everything, but like we can't just stay here. We don't know what's in the woods and everything and could be dangerous. I think the best place to be is is home, so if you don't want to go over the water whatsoever, maybe we can find a way around. And maybe that is towards this tower. I have a feeling this tower is what uh, Dad, I mean, Altharian was wanting to <laughs> check out later on anyways for some wizard guy. So uh, maybe we'll be headed over there anyways. Maybe we can kill two birds with one stone and do, do that. Maybe he so. can help us. Maybe... I don't know. I'm not super fond of random wizard guys that I don't know, so we'll see. Um, but we'll, we we can see and, and go from there. If I carried you over the river, would that help at all? No. Okay. What if it takes you too? You're, you're, you're just a person. It could take you. Take everybody. It could always take somebody. Do I hear any of the other party coming over? You do hear rustling in in the, the trees behind you. Um, at this point, they're probably catching up and following the marbles. I imagine I'm crushing, I'm like crashing through the underbrush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Yeah. I'd be kind so of like a right now in a turn shop, that's all I'm hearing. Yeah. But yeah. I'd, I'd also <laughs> be kind of hacking through stuff with a short sword as well. Yeah. Well, you'll have you this guy who's it. like, I am the shadow behind yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be sneaky as hell. <laughs> yeah. You're lumberjacking oh, for I just want to point that out. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then there's just Varric walking behind, like, well, they're doing all the work. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's, it's like, yeah. It's like, <laughs> there's a new path. Out, it's like taking your kids out in the woods to go hunting and then going, shh, be quiet. And the first thing they yeah. do is step on a twig. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I guess that. Yeah, that's that's the yeah, that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that for that. Um, it's good for Varric. He doesn't want to get tired. I mean, that's true. That is very true. He's the only one that's uh, been tormented by sleep so far. Is he still just chilling, like stealth mode, just like chilling back yeah, like a tree? Yeah, he's got it. Uh, Carrick, no, he. Well, I mean, yeah, he's kind of always acting like a tree. <laughs> Always acting like a tree. Generally speaking, <laughs> he looks like a tree. 
acting, um, acting around whatever just, scenario he has. Yeah, no, no, no. What was, what was that meme where it's like two soldiers come up to a tree in the middle of like a completely like barren like field like, yard? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, what is this tree going here? And he rolls like a nat twenty for stealth or deception. I'm like, oh well, I've always been here, and both the guards are like, well, the tree's probably right. <laughs> the tree would know better than us. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. You do hear them kind of, well, you hear rustling in the trees. It's, it's still a bit far out, but you guys are getting closer as you're making your way through. Um, considering you have a battering ram, a hack and slash, and two essential trees that are just walking through the forest, <laughs> you'll be okay here. <laughs> Not as you guys are, yeah, right. Uh, as you guys are sitting there, um, you you start to pay more attention to what's going on around you, a little bit more towards that tower and the erratic shape that seems to be getting closer, but still pacing very strangely. There's no pattern. She is completely none the wiser and she's still just staring into this fire we need a theme song oh crap <laughs> i was saying for like our individual theme characters like we all have I to like think it. of a theme song i do like it i, I think my suggestion is perfect because i uh, might have already have one yeah. for Evanor, maybe can't confirm or deny. I have an inkling of the direction mm. I would want to go. And here Mine's just, I just think up. it'd be pretty freaking cool. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like Mine. to do, Naga, while you're sitting there? Notice um, this is getting closer, and you're hoping that your party members are actually coming behind you and it's not something else? because you do hear that rustling. So essentially, essentially, you're being boxed into this corner where it's either yeah. back into the woods or at a shadow creature. Not a huge fan of either. Um, can I try and snap her out of it? Like, well, why is she staring into the fire? I'm still trying to figure this out. I mean, how do you want, how do you propose you would snap her out of staring into the fire? I'd tell her like, hey, something's something's coming closer. We need to sort of like be alert here and see what's going on. Um, can you get up? Can you, you know, stand by me real quick? Well, but it's really warm right here, though. You can come closer to me. Ugh. All right, Naga's going to stand to his ground and sort of just be defensive. Okay, that's fair. She is not taking her eyes off of this fire. It's almost as if she's never seen one before. She's that close to it and she's just engrossed in it, but still cognizant and able to talk to you in regular conversation. The, the, the shadow starts to get a bit closer. Still good ways away, but erratically closer and off to the right and left rather than further back. Battering Ram comes essentially out of behind you, out of the forest, almost tumbling because he is pushing through very quickly without really checking out his surroundings at first. And Altharian comes out right behind him. So slowly you hear the crunching of Carrick and Varric behind them. You all come out to this clearing and you realize just how close you are to this tower now. I, I will quickly tell them, like, something's coming. Be ready. What do you four want to do? Can I gauge how far, like, how long it would take for the shadowy figure to get to us? The way that it's kind of all over the place, not even a little bit. It could go back, it could come forward, you don't really 
there's no way to really gauge just how far it is either or what direction it's going in next. So it could be five minutes, it could be 20. Right. But it's not very far. Um, I would say quarter of a mile. Okay. I'd be able to shoot that. Mm. Um, I'll turn and I'll, I'll... Obviously, we see the fire as well. And just before the... Um, like, I do anything else... I'll clap three times. Fire goes out. Thought so. Give me a sec. Mm -hmm. Give me a sec, chat. Damn him for remembering that. None of a bitch. <laughs> when, when, wait, hold on. When was that bitch. established? Uh, like the first time that the fire was put out uh, by Tamia and uh, Madam Eva. What did he do? He clapped yeah. three he, times? He, he clapped so no three taker. times and you can turn the fucking fire off. Wow. He, it's he's part of... Uh, he, he's the note taker. Of course he is. I don't think I was here for this. Nope. Yeah. You were close with the green fire, I will say. But each one of them had a different color fire. Yeah, it was our first night in Barovia, Smith. You didn't... It, it was a little no, bit you weren't, you, you yeah. weren't here for that, yeah. I heard a screw you for remembering that. I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I was like, hmm, fire. I don't like this. Three times. Pain in the ass. Uh, <laughs> when that happens uh, and the fire goes out, the, the rocks underneath it are still pretty red hot. Um, but almost instantly, Arabelle snaps out of it and sort of shuffles away from the fire pit itself and kind of backs into Naga's legs because she's on the floor shuffling backwards, knowing exactly in full well what was going on. She just tries to get as far away from it as possible. As in she's trying to back away from the fire? From the fire, right. Because it took you turning it off, essentially, for her to wake up. Hmm. Does does the shadow one can roll me a uh, perception? That's there. Underwater, you guys can wait a minute. Yeah. Nice. Ugh. Ow. Damn it, Naga. Well, Naga's uh, uh oh, Barrick, Naga and Barrick yeah. are carrying. Carrick. One more. No, is it Carrick? Oh yeah. Just monk stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's fine. Perception. I'm telling you, it's the it's the X. When I say <laughs> one, they don't really know the other. Right. <laughs> Good. Wow. All right. So all of you together, essentially discussing your surroundings. Some of you seeing much more clearer than others. The tower seems to be floating, from what you can tell. It's definitely moving closer, it feels. The closer the shadow figure gets, the clearer it becomes that it is a human of some sort, wearing what looks like a very long cloak that's kind of hovering over the ground. And as he moves, Notice the tower. <laughs> Y'all thought that the mermaid's den was the dangerous place. <laughs> you haven't gotten to the other side yet, mister. <laughs> I'm just mm -hmm. reminding you of that one. <laughs> Yeah, and you're like, your mom was there to snap you out of it. True. Very true. Rogar may be staying pretty close to mom for the next little bit yeah. while these sirens are around. <laughs> I swear. I'm staying pretty close yeah. to that shiny armor. I feel like Avery is going to stick pretty close as well. He's He wasn't too happy with that last one. 
Oh, I'm sure no. he wasn't. He's more upset than anything. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you three can just go ahead and fly out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not wrong. Mm. As you start to discuss where this tower is in location and in reference to where you guys are, and you're noticing it getting closer, what do you guys do? Considering that it's coming at you in a way, you think, most likely. Do I recognize the tower? Theoretically, it looks familiar-ish. Something that you might have heard of, some of the pieces that you can see starting to come into focus look like way people that you've come across have mentioned that it looks. I think I know exactly what tower this is. Would you like me to make a history check? Go ahead. You have a feeling that it is the tower that you think, but you're not quite sure. Confident, but you don't want to say anything just in case you're wrong. Yeah. But you have a feeling. Rukar, you yeah. know exactly what tower this is. Yeah, I was going to say, I would probably know what tower it is, too. Yeah. You can share with him that it is the exact tower that you're thinking it is. Nope. However, no one else knows what the hell tower you're talking about. So it's kind of in a hush hush. The whole tower is moving? The whole at that point, tower I'm just going to look at him and go, yeah. It is. The whole tower is kind of floating and moving towards you as this creature is getting closer. It's not on the ground. Visibly now at this point, you can see that there is a gap between the ground and it. Yeah, this Almost is, as if uh... its body synced to this being that is, like I said, human form, wearing a cloak that seems to be radically moving still but it's not like it's walking it's definitely of the floaty nature again what would you guys like to do <laughs> Fuck. excuse me <laughs> pick up attack <laughs> Embrace the chaos. chaos. Thank you. For, yeah. I can't really punch a tower, so I'm not a fan of this. Again, it still doesn't look spooky, other than it's floating and coming closer to you. It's it still a, looks rather inviting. It's a hover building. I mean, yeah. Hmm. So. I guess it's not it, doom and gloom, essentially. Yeah, if if it's the it's the tower that Rukar and Altharian both know it is, I'm there. I I'm actually very cautious right now. I'm not like if if Rukar's confirmed because because mm -hmm. I whispered something to him. If he can confirm that or not. Because for out of character, I'm not sure if uh, the tower that Rukar is recognizing is the tower from the the dream that we had, or if it's another tower. It is the dream that you had. Okay. Right. Cool. Cool. Just wanted to confirm that. The other tower, out of character, Abari, you know 100% exactly what you're looking for where Rukar would understand what he's looking for, but not be able to identify it. Okay, okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does, it does. Okay. Cause, cause yeah, cause I, I'm aware of two different towers. Yes, and so, you have two in your brain, yes, yeah, exactly. I, I just ma wanted to make sure that I had the right one in mind for this one. You are 100% on, yes. Yeah, so Rukar is not happy right now. Yeah, neither is Altharian. <laughs> Didn't the premonition you guys had in your dream basically allude to everybody except for you guys being dead? Did we tell the group that? No, we no, have. I think we you... haven't actually shared it with the group. I just described it, so they have like a knowledge of it existing, but not yeah. in character. Correct. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm guessing in your guys' half your party's gone already. 
this tower <laughs> towards you. Yeah essentially going to kill off the rest of them probably what's floating through their minds yeah no i i remembering the dream mm -hmm. that's not even it's all of it yeah we're yeah. we're not everything's happened yet so i think we're, now's not the right time for that to be happening because out of character evanora's weapons are there bingo good job I like my weapons their dream had your weapons laying on the ground mm -hmm. around them. So if all of you are not there, their dream can't be accurate. Or it isn't going to pass yet. Interesting. Correct. I don't like it. Or, or <laughs> you want yeah. to enter when not all of us are there. That way your dream doesn't come true, right? It, it, could, it could be <sighs> symbolic of... You, oh, of life, so. we keep the party split. Boom, can't happen. Oh, I get it. Your nah, no, I... doesn't happen. A a yeah. Anyway, right. anyway. So, yeah, I I'm kind of, like, very wary, like... Think of it... Like, Altharian's kind of standing at the front, like, kind of resting... His, like, left hand on the pommel of his sword. And just okay. watching this thing come in, and he's just making sure that he, he's not just looking at that, but he's also looking around as well, making sure his head's on a swivel, because if this thing keeps coming towards us, there's got to be something else coming as okay. well. Basically, Ruka right now looks like a cornered animal. Yeah. <laughs> um, is, yeah. is the it's giant like, hover building would, coming at us at 40 feet or faster? No, he would probably rather not. walk into Strahd's throne room right now. <laughs> <laughs> It is definitely not coming at you quickly because it is essentially, as far as you can tell, following the being, the shadow being. So wherever it goes, so does the building at the same distance at every second. It doesn't leave the distance from that person. So if it comes five feet, so does the building. If it goes away 10 feet, so does the building. So it's in a constant rotation and shift, almost like a gravitational pull to that being. Right. Okay. There's nothing about that entire description that I like. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a question, and I think I know the answer. Do any of you- I don't you think I want to give you the answer. The, <laughs> the, the land creatures have any immunities? I have some pretty good resistances. No, immunities. Uh, yeah, um, just double check. Potentially. Uh, okay. potentially. I, I can. I just have advantages and resistances to poison. Um, Does, let me have a yeah. look at Gloomwalker. Because I'm not... I'm looking for immunities to being charmed of any kind. No. Probably I don't know what, what kind of feats you might have. Um, it would essentially be in your feats if you've taken any kind of specialties. Um, it would just say you were immune to being charmed, um, fire, blah, 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 whatever it might be. I know you, some of you get that further on, but I don't know what you currently have. So I just wanted to ask rather yeah, than yeah. sitting here digging through. Okay. Yeah, I have a way of doing it as a key feature, but, but if it's a charm effect, I wouldn't that, know. You wouldn't know, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, so no, no natural not, immunities. No. Uh, to unless there's something for oh, me no. being half health. I don't think so. That's the only other thing, because Gloomwalker doesn't do anything until level 7, where I get proficiency in intelligence. Ah, uh, no, wisdom saving throws. So... Oh, I'm I'm promptly taking my rod back, by the way. Beautiful. The magic stick. Uh, yeah, Fae Ancestry, you have advantage on saving throws against being charmed, and magic can't put you me to sleep. 
So if anyone's got also got Fey Ancestry, then you've got the exact same thing. Which I believe Carrick may. Of what I'm sorry? Uh, do you have Fey Ancestry by any chance? Yes. Yeah, so you've got advantage against being charmed. Oh, there it is. I was I looking immune. weird. Not immune, yeah. but we've got advantage okay. against it. That's, yeah. I'm I was looking, looking way down. for immunity, but that's good to know. Yeah, no. regardless, it's not, it's not, an, it, more, I was looking for the immunity specifically for this specific set, just to see who I'd be affecting and who I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. However, I mean, I'm going to be affecting all of you. Uh, I mean, I can make a slight change to the wording and I would have. No, it doesn't work that way, smartass. So. <laughs> <laughs> you sure, bird? Yeah, 1,000%. Oh, because okay. approximately two minutes go by. All of my roles, thank you very much. The shadow figure rotates. And so does the building. The building gets within 10 feet of you. And instantly, all of you go to sleep. Have a good night, guys. Back down in the water. Yeah, you're all asleep, shush. <laughs> I even get a save? I am the darkness. No, no one shadow with my friend. 1,000% in the vicinity of the building, you're all asleep. Until I'm doing up. one anyways. I mean, go ahead, but you're still going to fail it. 22. Uh, you're still gonna fail it. Uh, the shadowy figure is my friend. So under the water, you guys are making your way through the cavern again. And you get to the other side, where there's another entrance that looks similar to the one that you were just in. As you get to the doorway that separates you from the next larger cavern, it's very bluish. It's got a, like a bluish haze throughout the entire area. There's a few people talking on one side. Okay. Uh, there's a few people talking to a farther side, definitely adults. Like you could hear them. They're very deep voices. Um, women, men of all kinds. And when you, you look a little further in at the far, far side is a 12 inch statue. It's all metal as far as you can tell. And it's a praying man on his knees in like what looks like a robe of sorts. And around it is a blue fire. Sitting behind that statue on what looks like a throne of very iridescent pearl. It looks like it was carved right out of the stone that was here. Sitting there is a very large man, much larger than anybody else in the room. Like how tall? <clears throat> he's sitting, so you couldn't really tell. But he's... Oh, I don't want to say just tall, but he is physically larger. He takes up a lot more space than anybody else. His voice is almost booming as he laughs and he echoes through this chamber. They're all, all the adults anyway, that seem to be there, seem to be wearing what looks like fish scale clothing that they may have made. They look fairly young. There's not really many older than say 30 in the, in the area. And they look like they're kind of pampering and, and catering to this man. What would you guys like to do? I don't like it. Uh, since I'm, me and uh, Rogar are like right next to Evan, I'm like, I'm leaning over to Evan, I'm like, is this a cult? Alrighty, chat, I'm gonna be right back. Uh, just gotta take another bio like, break. <laughs> Puckles to herself. <laughs> what? And then she'll shrug, just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Crack X feeling something. I can see it. 
He's up to something. Trying to see what side of the uh, side of his alignment he wants to go with right now. (laughs) (laughs) Thinking. Considering that, you know, uh, I got to take you guys into consideration right now. You know where I lie. <laughs> uh, I, I I don't want to be the one responsible for getting you guys. <laughs> Just you're a, you're a warlock. Yes. So. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> continue. Cults, do your thing. <laughs> cults are kind of your shtick, dude. I'm. <laughs> we're following you on this one. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'm, uh, I'm going to start walking towards the, the big guy. Pro guy is going to okay. follow right behind him. Okay. Evanora is following very cautiously. Okay. Perfect. He looks up and he instantly notices you guys as soon as you enter the chamber. Like you had to physically step over that threshold and he looks at you right away. All right, chat. I'm back. He goes, Welcome. How did I get new adults? We just swim down here, sir. Oh, that's I interesting. Ain't. You shouldn't be able to do that. But okay. Uh, welcome, I suppose. Yeah. How can I help you? Uh, honestly, we were actually wondering if there was, you know, any way to get out of here, per se. You want to leave? Why? I mean... I, uh, I look back at the group and it's like, it's like that little switch in my head just go you know and I look him straight away <laughs> like with serious I'm like we got vampires to kill are you after Strahd? yes yeah. oh, that's why you want to leave I see your mm. friend oh no but I do thank him for all the children, though. No, no offense. We, we honestly, we, we saw the kids. They seem happy. We, we ain't gonna touch them. Don't worry about it. You're, you're welcome to I keep mean... them here. They seem happy. <laughs> they are I happy. mean. <laughs> hey, uh, he, he doesn't need to know the the actual truth. <laughs> One, one, one big asshole at a time. Oh god! <laughs> one big asshole at a time. <laughs> okay, so that means we're dealing with Strahd. Uh, pretty good policy. I'm not gonna lie. I, I never I come back to do fair. this. I think that's. I mean, pretty I, 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 I never said that we were dealing with Strahd first. I just said one big asshole at a time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fair. Oh Seriously, boy! Uh, is the only way in and out of here the waterfall in the middle of yes. the, the? Essentially, up. Okay. I have fair opening to that realm. I can help you get out. What can I have in return, though? Because you're here and you're clearly stuck. Oh. We're not stuck. I just want to find an easier way out. I'm, I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> You'd be surprised how stuck you actually are. Speak for yourself. Yeah, he's the reason I'm lazy. I don't want to carry him. I, I look at the the, the the big man and I ask him, "What would you like in exchange for a uh, passage out of here?" Well, I mean, if you're after Strahd, that means you're going to take away my children. So, a way to keep the children. Well, I mean, unless perhaps killing Strahd gets rid of the curse, which gets rid of the children anyway. What curse? What? what? The Strahd's curse, of the course. Curse of Strahd. <laughs> 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 I love you so much. That name was perfect. 
Oh, uh, gosh. I've said it so many times today. I'll say it one more time. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you really? Yeah. I don't think she really does. I don't think she really does. <laughs> Anyways, I see. Anyways. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look at the room and that. It's like, well, I mean, I can't guarantee that the kids will keep coming. But I, I can give no. you my word that I will personally not get involved with it. I suppose. Oh, we had to get down here somewhere. So. How'd you find out? In the first place. I, uh. I went swimming and you got pulled down. Oh, oh. I, I just dove after some bags and lost track of them. And, uh. Next thing I know, I was, but looked at the giant hole on the floor and I, I felt like just look investigating. And the rest of us, you know, we lost sight of him in the water, so we dove in after him to make sure he was okay. Mm-hmm. you last so long in the water? I, I uh, can't speak for them. For some reason, I, I just felt comfortable. I didn't feel like I was drowning at all. I swim fast. I mean, we saw the giant hole in the middle of the lake. We went up and took a deep, nice deep breath and dove down chasing our friends. Interesting. Well, you have some interesting stuff. Dracax. Okay. Out of character, because he doesn't know your name. Somehow you were able to follow some sacks and somehow show up here. Yes. And at this point, the the adults that are around are kind of like sitting at his feet almost. Kind of like giggling at all of the little sarcasm that he has. They're very, you can tell that they want to please him. And no matter what he says, they either find it funny or they are pampering him in some kind of direction. They don't want to be the aim, essentially. The targets. <laughs> so you follow the sex, you end up here in this realm, and, and I assume that you expect me to just be able to say, yes, follow this staircase back up to the top. Honestly, I'm not expecting a handout. Hmm. Coming from a merchant to, I would say, the lord of this realm per se as you know you, you seem to be the person in charge down here oh i'm Lycan, uh, the god of myrrh okay. not just of the realm hey, ooh. Well, you don't you know, know that you change dimensions did you mm. it's very hard to get you back into strad's realm considering you have to be invited oh yes perfect <laughs> split the party split the party <laughs> this is not good i i i believe oh. i'm gonna drop the one f word for today and go fuck <laughs> and look at the, the, the my heart what what was it sounding for it's lichen lichen uh-huh oh i've heard okay. that before <sighs> Before. I know. Have, exactly. I, heard, have I, do, do I have knowledge about this person specifically? Um, you can give me a history check. You've heard of him. You haven't heard much of the legends, but you have heard of him in general speakings. Um, some of the local churches in you, wherever you have been around have mentioned his name up in passing but not really sure where he falls can i attempt All to right. assist with that yeah sure nope never mind no, no. <laughs> I have a plus four. It was worth a shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you've heard the name before, but you don't. There's no 
there's no stories you haven't heard anything <laughs> of him or why or who or you know where he started but you've heard of him you've also heard of the magic between the two of you that usually follows him okay wait what the magic, meaning uh, the merfolk, they're corrupted, but here oh, only. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Only here are they corrupted. In other realms, they follow him, but they're not corrupted. Only the ones that are close to him. Mm, so, you know, I'm standing there, like, rubbing my chin after my mic. I have heard your name in passing. I don't know much about you. But, you know, uh... Done my job, then. Uh, if, if you won't mind me asking, what would you, would you like in exchange for, you know, some help getting back to where we came from? I mean, I can get you back if you can <laughs> manage to get me a supply of children. And it's not for what you think it's for. <laughs> we don't eat them. We are not evil creatures. We can be. But I need to repopulate the mermaids somehow. What are okay. you guys giggling about? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Valifal, would you like to say out loud what you type? Nobody read it. Yeah, you want to hear what the class. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're waiting. I'm not liking this turn of events. Oh, oh my, God, my gosh. Jesus. This, just stop it. And what's the, what's the, the phrase? funny part Get is out? everything after that. As if at the fire is like, if I could hit you virtually, I would. And then I'm sitting here like, get out, unmodded. <laughs> Get out of here. See ya. Oh, I think the back, and then... I think the backhand your bitch ass was the best one. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Oh, no, oh, my goodness so me. It's because bird chose violence. <laughs> Oh, I did. Bird 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 violence. It may have been a little bit of sweet tea in my rum. Not the bit whole of that sugar. Not the whole lot of rum in that sweet tea. No. <laughs> it, it was more bit. like a little bit of sweet tea in the rum. Who puts some uh, rum in their sweet tea? I thought it was. No. no it was <laughs> that oh my god. Really good. I need to try that at some point. So, so, so you would like a guaranteed of kids from somewhere passage i mean you're you made it down here by following what should have been my children who will eventually end up like this they'll they'll love it here and he kind of reality, waves his know. hands to all of the other adults that are in the room like every one of them Hey, I, I just look around the room. Hey, as long as they're happy, I could care less. Yeah, but if you're gonna take them away, where else do I go? I mean, there, there's more. There, there's multiple realms in this. You know. In, you know, one world. that has an endless supply of children that are famished. Because I need to give them some reason to like me. The the reality is, there's not that many kids left. Oh, I guess that's true. Well, I guess by now I could just repopulate myself, huh? I mean, that that's up to uh, you? Considering, uh, that the, considering that the kids actually manage to age in this realm, I'm guessing that the Curse of Strath does not affect them. Oh, it does not? Not here in any more, anyway. I mean... Just because we, you know, get rid of Strahd doesn't mean that you will lose the kids. Okay. You don't tell them what's down here. The adults up, up top. You know. I could care less. You don't tell them where their children are. And... I'll get you back to the top. That works with me. 
Yeah. And like you I don't. Said, I, I could care less. Come back. Yeah. You stay away. You don't visit. Of course. You're gonna have to wait for the lawful good Evanor to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm. I'm that, that, that. This is, you know, me speaking from the chaotic neutral. Yeah. 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 This is my chaotic side of my chaotic good. Yeah. I mean, it's lawful neutral as long as the kids are happy. Technically okay. speaking, exactly. Technically speaking, this would kids be good happy, yeah. for the children if you wanted to go the morality route. Yeah, because they're starving on the surface. Mm. Right. And they do look healthier. Even Don. Oh, now everyone's healthier. okay with Naga letting Bluto go. Okay. Okay. Well, right. oh, right. Right. I mean, well we didn't know what Bluto was up to, though, know. until we got down yeah. here. We yeah. still don't know up top, <laughs> Naga. Yeah, 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 up top, you guys oh, have no clue. Oh, and you guys are to top it off, you don't know who was convincing Bluto that this was the stuff to do. Yeah. Whether uh, it was Strahd's side or if it was, in fact, the trade off for food. Was he ever actually receiving food? No one knows. No one actually asked that question Give child, get food. And what? Order. Well, uh, I, I look back at Evanor, considering that Avery and Rogue are already kind of are like hell yeah, let's go. Yeah, less hell yeah, but more like uh, I'm. I, I, I look back at her. I'm like, are you okay with this, or do you do you have a objection? Other trucker. So for clarification. To make sure I understood correctly between all the mm -hmm. laughing. <laughs> so, from what we know, is that Bluto was throwing these kids in the water, supposedly for food. Yes. That we don't know if he's actually receiving. Correct. Right. While the rest of the town is also starving. Correct. Yes. And these kids are down here and will eventually get turned into merfolk. Correct. Do they turn into the corrupted merfork? Mer no. Blah, 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 blah. No. Just normal ones? His goal would be to release them in the world. And the only corrupted ones are the ones that he chooses. Here only in this specific location. Because it's connected to Shrod. Hmm. I mean, being turned into a merfolk is not a bad deal. Give me a second. Well, they seem happy. They're fed. The they are adults. They are there are full grown adults in front of you. Yeah, but there's people in Barovia who are starving still. What a moral and you did dilemma. See witness a lot of fish. There was a lot of food down here. They just had what seems like an endless supply of it. You're also taking this dude as word. Yeah, no yeah. one's asked the question yet. Evanora is going to ask him yeah. how he's getting the food back. Like, if that's the deal that's being made, how is the food getting back? Back to Barovia? Mm-hmm. Essentially, the lake feeds us, among other lakes. This isn't the only spot that we have. So we take the children and we leave some of the fish in the lake. So they still have to work for it, but it is there. Or at least it should be if they haven't eaten it all. Try to be fair, and I do leave plenty. I could technically send you back with extra if you need it but they have to work for it i'm not just going to give it to them on their plates this is hard i think that this is 
I think usually choosing between two evils, it's better to not choose. But this one feels less of an evil and more of a gray area. Yes, they lose their past lives, but at least they have the lives to live. They starve to death and they don't have a life. At least they get to be here, have a good childhood, grow up and become merfolk. They still have the yeah, but I mean, theoretically on that front, too, if we deal with Strahd, then everybody in the other realm would no longer suffer as well. Theoretically. Well, what we could do is go up there, whoop Strahd's ass as quickly as possible, and then they won't have to come here and make the sacrifice anymore. I mean, all we were charged to do is just not tell them about this. And I, I'm not saying this as a player, and I never agreed to that. Only Drakax did. I'm, you know, I'm saying this outside of character. You guys are welcome to do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. My you character, all individuals. Yes, exactly. Yep. My character has a specific agenda. However, dealing with kids is not within that. We have we are literally sat right now in front of a merfolk god, and he is our only way to get back to Barovia, it seems. And we are either stuck here and we can't change anything, and the kids will continue to be brought here, or we go back and potentially end the kids from coming back here. There is no other route yeah but Evanor is not a fan of lying either you don't have to lie you can tell them the truth and say I won't tell anybody and don't tell anybody I'll tell everybody but that's that's a lie because she will tell somebody that's what I'm mm -hmm. saying it's like morally she has to yeah like she has to tell somebody so Mm. Uh, uh, fuck it. Okay. Um, Evanor is, is going to sound super defeated. Uh -huh. Um, and just say like, I can't speak for my friends, but I can't give you that promise. He looks at you really quizzically. Because you're one of those good kind, huh? She nods. Providing you destroy Strahd anyway, the children will eventually stop because there's no reason to quote unquote sacrifice anyone. So eventually, if you survive, I'd have to find a new place anyway. If you're going to have to find a new place anyway, why don't you just do it now? It's just a lot of work. And it's so easy to manipulate Strahd. So it was just a convenience at the time. I've been doing this here for a very long time. And like you said, it's going to end anyways. I mean, now it will, since you guys are here, I suppose. Maybe. We'll see. Not like you're the first. Of course. But we will be the last. <laughs> Avery's going to say that really cocky. We'll see about that. However, you can't effectively take anyone back with you because I have to send you back. And they can't get down here and also try to leave. So I guess it doesn't really matter now, does it? Guess wow. not. Okay. Well, I will send you back with no one else. You have not touched anything here, so I guess that's fine for now. What do you mean? Uh, 
Well, as soon as you touch something, you're bound. So don't touch anything. Oh, Evanora spins around and starts like touching the shoulders of every child. <laughs> as she's staring him in the eye. And then she's going to sit there well, like as she's doing it and just be like, well, I guess it doesn't matter anymore, huh? Rogar's just going to put his no, hands on his two axes and just grip them a little bit tightly. He looks forward and he doesn't look as whimsical as he did uh, before you started doing that. The little statue that is in front of him it starts to glow a little bit brighter. Of course. He kind of manipulates his hands in a weird way, and a few of the people that are directly around him start to <laughs> mutter a little bit. Super cute. Knock his life choices. <laughs> this blue glow that it had, has rather, started to lift off of this statue. As he's lifting it, he kind of looks at you and smiles a little bit, and he's like, I hope you enjoy killing everyone you know. And he throws this ball of energy straight at the center of your chest. Perfect. As soon as it gets to you, everyone around you, including you, falls asleep. That's where we'll pick up. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, by the way, in two weeks, you're all asleep and we are level 19. So we okay. have two weeks to make sure that we have those characters set up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. So we're leveling up to level 19 then? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> the other characters. No, sorry. Uh, the other, other characters. Uh, beans. Oh, darn. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. But that's how we are going to end this little session for the month of October. Oh. By the way, I was pulling up my spell list. I was about to cast Suggestion. <laughs> so... I, I... Go ahead. I, I was going to say, with uh, how the rest of us fell asleep at the tower, was that some form of magic, I'm guessing? Yeah, the tower essentially has a sleep spell attached to it. Um, and the only reason that the magic mage, the mad mage who is there, um, isn't affected by it is because of a spell he cast on himself to protect himself from the tower. Right. I'm back. Welcome back. You're but, asleep, by the way, just in case you missed it. Really? Because... Yeah. Okay. Because oh, well. that, that's... Oh, the action, really? And the I... did exactly what I needed her to do, which was to oh tell him God. no. So I, I really was counting on her being the lawful good and saying no, I mean, you F you, You're going to have to move anyways. Just yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Give everybody so, back the fish. They can stop I'm, starving. The kids are happy. You move on like you're going to have to anyways. So, <laughs> I'm so He's happy, man. That. See, because I, I guess the magic is so powerful that it, it would be something to do with realm There's, because... It's yeah. It, yeah. Uh, otherwise, Fey Ancestry would have protected both myself and well. You would have Carrick. had to have make a save roll for it, and you would have had to pass it. Blah 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 blah. But the purpose of these two specific spells mm. are so well overpowered and above your levels yeah. that you would have never passed any kind of save roll for them. Yeah, that's I what just I thought. Needed the lack of immunity because if you guys were immune to it, then I couldn't do anything about it. It doesn't matter what level it is. Yeah, because Fae Ancestry specifically states we cannot be put to sleep by magic. Right. So right. It, it was- this specific the, the... one had to work, essentially. Yeah, because it's the- because I- from the way that I'm guessing that it functions is that it charms you first so that you're not yeah. aware of what's going on and then it puts you to sleep. Right, it, it would, would be then essentially my be yeah. a, a two to three part spell where it would be mm. confusion, um, uh, probably some kind of forgetful spell and then the sleep. So you really don't know what's going yeah. on between you seeing it approach and suddenly you're not, you're going to wake up. Yeah. So, you know, I, for yeah. this little time span, it was mainly my purpose to just get you guys asleep. All yeah. of God, it. Didn't I'm matter so who mad. you were or why. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm yeah. so mad I'm not playing my next character because he's immune to charm and sleep. 
<laughs> well, yeah. hopefully I don't have to use this again. Um, but don't worry, Babalu, there are no dream sequences right now. You're just gonna play it. So, you know. <laughs> Sheesh! Yeah, um, just so anyone is aware, I've leveled up the piece of this story that we are going to be playing, and we are entering the Death House, which is the first space that you enter when you're supposed to play Curse of Strahd properly, um, but I have leveled it up to kind of match where you guys are going to be. This is the part of the game that I removed because it is so stupidly insane in the very beginning of a session that it usually annihilates and TPKs a party. So that's when what... I leveled it up and I want to play it because it just is cool. It's really cool. But I wanted you guys to be OP for it. So okay. don't forget, make sure you're level 19. You have at least two pieces of magical um, armor, weapon, two weapons, two pieces. I don't care what it is, just two pieces. Um, and anything special you might want that would help you as a character, just let me know. You can also choose your alignments as far as if you're friends with the people you're with or if you want to backstab them. Let me know. We can play okay. into both. We had also you'd also talk something. Are we gonna do any kind of a set an offline session zero? To yes, to I would like eyes? to. I would like to. Um, providing we're capable of doing that over the next two weeks, since you guys are gonna be away for the next following. Um, whatever day we're all free, or we can just hang out for like an hour at most, mm. um, just to kind of familiarize with each other's stories up until that point. Essentially, you guys are hanging out the night before you go into this house and what you would talk about. If you talk about yourselves or anything like that, please feel free. If you want to choose friends, you're more than welcome. Uh, if you want to completely go against put some of your party members, just let me know. You can keep it a secret. You can be clear about it. I don't care. This is supposed to just be balls to the walls, have fun. And I can it doesn't slash. matter. Your intention is to die at the end. You don't have to survive. If you do, awesome. I will make that my goal. These friends or enemies after that session zero that we after actually meet the characters. Exactly. Okay, okay. Because otherwise, you don't really know who they are. Yeah. Um, you can obviously choose alignments before that if you really want to be like, hey, I want to buddy up with Scotty and just murder everyone. Totally cool. I, I'm, just I'm lawful you know. good, by the way, so that won't be happening, yeah, but I will defend be... myself God, if it. necessary. Yeah, oh, there you go. So, he's going to have no friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I, I get to I got you. I All right. play. All right. I'm chaotic neutral. I'm nice. pretty sure I'm chaotic evil. So, yeah, <laughs> you can just do whatever the hell I mean, you I can want. Go anyway. You can go um, whatever you want, yeah. I'm lawful evil. Let me, let I'm me pull I don't even remember what I am. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. Well, neutral I, evil well, is what I am. Yeah, I'm 100% chaotic evil. I, I'm lawful good because I'm a paladin. Like. <laughs> yeah. And, so, yeah. I'm a paladin of vengeance. No, yeah. I've got, um. What is it? I think I've got the Oath of Devotion, the one that gives me a bucket ton of spells. Nice. Oh, that's what I have. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's what is. She's yeah. an Oath of Devotion one. Yeah, nice. Also, uh, Vengeance is not evil. Um, I have a lot more good, vengeful paladin. Hmm. Any right. paladin can be any any class, any race, any anything in D and D can be evil. It's just yeah. some are easier to role play as evil. Yeah. There's this nice little quote and it's sometimes good people do bad things and sometimes bad people do good things yep. run with it that is the whole purpose of this segment is to just have a blast and just go crazy ham on being super overpowered and feel what 19 feels like because some of you have never felt that before and if some of you have you know what i mean but you can walk through anything at those high levels some of you could even fly you may even hit level 20 in the middle of it, depending on how much you do. So definitely just approach this as being badasses and you're going in essentially to destroy the being of this house. <laughs> yes. yes. It's gonna be also. challenging because I'm gonna level everything up. So nothing is gonna be like, hey, this is super easy, but you're still gonna be able to, you know, there's still gonna be characters that are like 10 HP that you're gonna one strike. And that's totally fine. There's the reason for that. I need you guys to have that confidence. So yeah. enjoy it. Make sure you're picking things that are really just out of this world because that's the whole point of it. But mm. it's also going to have an uptick of spoop. 
I'll give you that one. Uh, mm. It's gonna be creepy. It's gonna mm. be Halloweeny. I, I, and I'm just gonna yeah. full forewarn everyone. I do not do spook well. Um, yeah, I do make not. It even more fun. Oh, to be nah. amazing. Oh, you, <laughs> I I might actually not stream. I might record it. Okay. Um, yeah. just because if if spook spoof spooky factor gets too much i might need to be able to walk away for a minute and just collect myself <laughs> oh, this makes it even better so all i'm hearing is that smithy you and i are bringing scotty in for phasmo no, and lunch no, lady no 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 oh, and we're forcing him in no 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 i got exactly what i'm hearing i love that exactly okay. no there's no way he idea. can say no to us either right so we're like gonna, you gonna have gonna to do it into, what was it that balu was playing summer of 89 no, we'll force no. him into that one too some ghost hunter corpse oh, yeah. probably Ooh. Oh, no, no, I, I, I legit can't. Like it, it will give me nightmares for years. Type thing. Oh, yeah. God, are you so I, so I can't handle it. Like I, it. I, I need, so it, I need I it to happen. I need oh my it God. to happen. <laughs> I can't even watch like jump scare films. Like I can't even watch Alien. Oh, we're playing Lunch Lady. We are playing Lunch well, Lady. The good part about this is Doing it's it. not jump scares. It's definitely just atmosphere. Oh. And emotion. I, I picture Bird having like freaking creepy music playing through her mic. She's oh, going to have her oh, yeah. uh, all nah, the immersion. Nah, nah, I mean, nah, if, nah. I can, if I can, I will try to manage something that gives you guys a good <laughs> experience as far as visual. And I, I can't entirely play through the mic because it's just the way i have everything set up however i will make you guys a short uh playlist that so you say send everybody a playlist do, but <laughs> you can listen to at some point or during to uh, just feel it a little bit um what i think would be really fun is eventually with you guys one of my favorite tabletop games other than D D is call of cthulhu and that shit is scary mm. that yeah has that has given me genuine paranoia before. Mm. I actually have on roll twenty Call of Cthulhu. Mm. Oh my god! Yeah. Alrighty. I, I have the I have Call of Cthulhu, you guys. I'm gonna duck off it into is... my stream for a bit. Yeah. Uh, in okay. stream, I'll be right back. Games. I gotta get going, guys. <laughs> Bye, ball. Good night. See you, ball. Bye, ball. Good night. Good night, man. I'll be right back. Alrighty, chat. So that was a great session. I love that. Um. A lot of shenanigans, like, I, I, as Altharo and I was actually very pissed, like, that session, I was just, I was gone, I was super frustrated, super angry, um, just with the situation, and just trying to control myself, and, yeah, that was really tough for me to roleplay, and I, you know, got to the point of, like, I was personally feeling very anxious and just like, shit, why is this happening? Why is that happening? I just was not on board. Um, yeah. And I also had to understand why I went to sleep. And that's why I waited until afterwards for Bird to, to tell me that because I need to understand because my Fae ancestry technically does protect me against it. Um, but that the sequencing of magic does make sense um, for that. Um, cool. So we won't have D&D &D next week. Then we've got the one shots. And as I said, I probably won't stream them. I've got to, I've still got to figure out the, um, the time zone shift when that's happening for not, I know for us, it's here in Australia, it's happening next weekend, but I've got to figure out what it is in the States to see when that shift is fully happening. Maybe I do a a 9 to 12 stream and then I jump in D&D &D post um, and go from there but yeah I'm just just got to think on it I guess but that was I, I still enjoyed that session the fact that they got teleported to another realm is like I thought that might happen hence why I didn't want to go in the water a lot of, there's a lot of reasons why I didn't want to go in the water. Um, but yeah, I, I'm i so 
It was hilarious for me to clap three times, turn off the fire straight away so we weren't all entranced by it once again because I remembered nobody else did. Loved that part. Um, but yeah, so again, an awesome session. Thank you so much for joining us. We're not going to send off the raid today, ladies and gentlemen. But thank you so much for joining us. I've been ScottyD49. Uh, make sure to check out the socials and I'll have the new schedule up tomorrow, which is going to be good um, for next week, which is just going to be hobby. That's all it's going to be. Maybe I might even get a 40k game in on Tabletop Simulator on Saturday. I might talk with Sam or buy Lemon and see if we can get that going and have that happen next weekend as well. So we get a bit of hobby, some 40k gaming in as well, test out this new army list that I'm working on. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. I've been Scotty D49, and I'll catch you on Tuesday from 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you then.